CH Live. It's Tuesday. And you guys know what that means. Five, ten, and a quarter. No Limit Texas Hold'em coming at you here out of TCH Dallas. I'm Aaron McAvoy. Hanging out with me tonight is Derek. What's going on, my friend? Doing great. How you doing, Aaron? Doing very well. Looking forward to this game. And looks like we've got some fun, uh, fun action players here in the mix, as well as perhaps some new faces as well. So very much looking forward to this stream coming at you guys here on this Tuesday night on TCH Live. Hope you're all relaxed, kicking back, grab a beverage, and uh, let's get things kicked off with a little $100 PLO flip, shall we? You know, they used to have, uh, like, raw, long right, just the show no, no sandbag. And here or in general? Looks like we are waiting for a couple of these seats to fill in, but we've got uh, seven players here to kick things off. I feel like they hear they had the wall rules posted, like over here. Yeah. So I don't know how Austin's been going with weather, but uh, Dallas, my God, my gosh, this past weekend, I think we had 70 degree weather for the first time in uh, several months. Yeah, we have had some cool weather down here in Austin as well. The other day, actually, it was so chilly in my apartment that I was sort of like looking around like, what's going on? I haven't felt this in such a long time, like to be cold. What is that? Yeah, so a very welcome change in the temperature, that's for sure. Uh, looks like Slick Rick here in the nine nope. seat is sitting on Trip Queens. And is that good enough to take it down? I did pull. That is the case. All Street scams us again. Alright, what are we doing here? Who's, who's Five, ten, twenty-five. There you go. All right, so Slick Rick in the ninth seat, definitely a player that I'm unfamiliar with. But uh, we got Nick Shanky in the three seat, Carlos in the five. Yeah, Haven't seen Carlos before, of course. HCR in the sixth seat, another new face to me. And JD hanging out over in the four. Danny Marks in the two. <laughs> and Venom, of course, over on the other end of the table in the eighth seat. Looking here at the chat, we got Mitchell and a Poker Monkey, Jedi Master Ted as well, tuning on in. What's going on, y'all? Yeah, Welcome. <clears throat> yeah, I've seen HCR hop on our Wednesday, or what our what we used to have our Wednesday stream. He's popped on a few times. Uh, Eric, for sure, is definitely a new player, but um, I've seen him around in the room. And I think he actually final tabled one of our uh, major events during the Poker Atlas Tour. Um, I can't remember if it was the main event or the Dallas Duel. I think it's the Dallas Duel. And he, he did quite well. I think he got third or fourth place. Nice. He would, he would bluff his mother. Right, Nick Shanky here going to take down that first pot with the pocket nine. Oh, excuse me. Getting word from David. He actually final tabled the, the main event. So a very good score for him. Yeah, it always feels good to get that uh, big infusion to the bankroll when you run deep in a tournament. Definitely give you some opportunities to step up in stakes, maybe get a little bit out of your comfort zone, or just you know play some games that uh, maybe you've been thinking about playing for a long time. So happy to have him here on the felt. We're going to go heads up to a flop. Ace, King, 8, 2, Tone. Venom versus Nick. At least got a lot of advice this week, though. Oh, yeah? Yeah. We'll see the big hands that lose, and they'll be like, hey, I think you should have done this. Like, oh, I get text messages. People tell me first. Uh, People. He at least told me he, he goes, didn't you tell me, like, Harvey had aces, yeah. Harvey yeah. had aces, and I was like, man, if Harvey was in the bathroom, that hand would have been different. Either. Way different, yeah, yeah, yeah. It would have doubled up. Harvey walked away, missed aces, and then uh, cost oh, me 15k. Yeah, nice I remember that very much from him. last week. <laughs> uh, you weren't on, Derek, but uh, that's Fuck exactly that. the case. Got into a massive pot JD did. Yeah, see? Ended yeah, up I getting agree. stacked. And yeah, player would have had aces guy. if they'd gotten back to the table in time to see it. But it just went into the muck and the hand played out very differently than it should have or would have. You know what's so wild? I think I just randomly tuned into the stream because I was just like, was, I, I had the day off that day. I was like, oh, well, I'm just going to check it out real quick. And are you talking about the hand between him and Dan? 
like Dan like river to straight with a like, king ten or something like that. Uh, yeah, he just like barreled away right, and, uh, and JD got there called down nuts, with top yeah. set of queens. Yeah. Oh, so that was the hand where Harvey had aces when he walked away. I believe that's right. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> That yeah, and imagine really that the <laughs> imagine that the straight draw is just out of there, and it's just aces versus queens on a queen high board, right? Like that goes probably the exact opposite direction. Perhaps uh, JD getting doubled up instead of belted. Yeah, the king. Venom here takes down yeah, a you healthy pot. You, you have to like look at it. You're like, and that's some like divine intervention stuff, man. Like, <laughs> just suddenly Arby's like, you know what? I'm gonna go to the restroom. <laughs> Gets aces. Here, like, <laughs> it's pretty Queens wild, you know. <laughs> yeah, like I'm always fascinated by these spots, and we only ever get to see them when we do a live stream, right? Because somebody walks away from the table in a cash game, and unless somebody like sweats their cards or something like that, you just never know what that player had. So usually these sort of events just come and go, and we don't really think that much of it. But uh, yeah, when it happens on a live stream, particularly in a massive spot like that, it's very, very real that you know these hands that don't get played could have dramatically changed the action. I remember when he was on ER. <laughs> I can tell. I can tell. HCR here gets a Pain. walk with the ace queen in the straddle. Queen's on ER. <laughs> I'm sure I told him something before this, but I don't, the earliest thing I, I can remember these days is... Jeff, the you'll have good company in Poker Monkey. He feels yeah, similarly. Uh, it is, you know, sort of a uh, a big job, you know, for somebody, certainly not myself, but to refelt the tables. So, you know, it is understandable that that job has not been done quite yet. But, of course, you're right that uh, the Poker Atlas Tour has come and gone. But speaking of Poker Tours coming through Texas Card House locations, we've got... The Fall Classic down in spring going on right now as JD going to take this one down pre-flop. The Fall Classic in full swing. Texas Card House in spring with over $1.5 million in guarantees. The opening events have already concluded with the Mystery Bounty finishing up this weekend. But uh, plenty more good tournaments to come throughout the week as well as the culmination of the, the event with the No Limit Hold'em main event, 500k guarantee, $800 buy-in coming up here in a couple of weeks. So keep your eyes open for that. You can always go to texascardhouse.com for more information. Second time for the Ace Queen for HCR. Way ahead right now. And gonna find a great flop here. Top pair, top, top pair with a great kicker. JD here with a little piece as well. <coughs> and yeah, a little bit interesting here with a button open. The HCR plays this as a flat call, keeping. Um, but pardon me, that was a uh, cutoff open. But yeah, still just a little bit interesting. We'll keep an eye on his three bet percentage to see if. He tends to play his hands a little bit more passively if he's just uh, trapping this time. Leads out right on the flop for $50. JD makes the call. HCR continues with a bet of 150 now on the turn. And with a little bump in equity here, JD is going to go ahead and pounce on this. 575 to go. Queen blocker to the nuts. But one pair always going to feel uncomfortable getting raised with a texture like this. A lot of two pairs. Straights. What's that? I looked at it a little bit. 
for four and a quarter. Pretty good price here for HCR if he wants to continue, but he is going to let this go, and JD is just going to go ahead and get away with this one. Takes down a $1,000 pot there with the bottom pair. What's going on? Yeah, you know for a fact, uh, JD probably would have continued with the story there on the river um, if he hadn't missed. So it would have been interesting to see how HCR would have reacted to a big river bet there. Yeah, and perhaps that's the thinking going through his mind. He's like, well, I can call now, but then if he pots it on the river, I'm going to have to fold. So why not just save myself the 400 and something right now? Um, which is certainly... A, a valid way yeah, to approach the hand, right? The Think so across the future streets and how you're going to behave uh, if your opponent continues betting, and particularly for a large amount. So, you know, th those that's definitely an, um, a good a good way to approach the game. I would say, though, that uh, not only playing a little bit unorthodox there, leading out into two players on an ace-high board, and then folding to a single raise. I, it's, you know, we, we definitely went down uh, into kind of a murky part of the game tree. It's a little bit hard to suss out what the correct play is there. How was Houston? A little bit better flop for HCR this time as he flops the joint. Once again, leads out. $100 to go. Top pair for Slick Rick, so he's going to come along. Even brings Carlos in with the bottom pair. And it now picks up a dead up and down straight draw. Definitely the uh, the problem with continuing with a hand as weak as Carlos. You can improve, but you're just dead to everything, and you may not even know it. Is that beer thing permanent? I hope so. Very, very small size here. 250. Slick Rick is like something's not right and lets this go. Over to Carlos now with that turned straight draw. But he's out of the way as well. A little bit curious what was going on in his mind about calling the flop if he's going to fold on that turn, but perhaps just recognizing that something doesn't feel right and correctly, correctly lays it down. We're looking to fill the one seat and the six seat. Pardon me, the seven seat. I think the one. I think the seven seat's got just got filled. Um, RV Phil. I think it heard his voice. Uh, we'll be making his return to the stream. We haven't seen him in a little bit. Okay, very good. Limped pot here between the big blind and the straddle. Which isn't on the stream, but like these like lights like track the action like technically, so it's like right here he does, then goes back over here, so like but it, it lags a little bit, but that's how you like know where the cameras are pointing. Mm -hmm. Check call here from like, Slick yeah. Rick. Danny makes the wheel on the turn. And yeah, time to build this pot. I like the over yeah, bet here. Like a couple power. of draws it's out there that he. Really doesn't really interact with, hopes his opponent can have some sort of pair and a straight draw, pair and a flush draw, maybe even a turn to pair with this ace. Definitely start building a pot. Slick Rick will make the call here, surprisingly. Here maybe looking to bluff some river cards with the King of Diamonds. <coughs> yeah, how's the gut shot equity? But yeah, being out of position here, definitely a hand combination that I uh, wouldn't recommend floating out of position. I think I won like 4K that night. One of those ones where you play it in position, you have a lot more flexibility for how you want to, um, you know, sort of work in plenty of these. Uh, 
Uh, big flush draw floats, yeah. or you know, blocker floats, <laughs> I should say. Like I said, no, you totally like Seven you tears here on the end. Danny continues with the overbet. Like, and wow, that's Slick Rick like is just going to look him up with the king high. Says, uh, you're going to have some busted straight draws straight. and things oh, of that nature. Busted fun. flush draws. And I just think the king high is good, but he is going to show. Or, nice. Sorry, get shown is the bad news. Uh -oh. Danny drags a nice big one. Right, two discipline, two discipline, Looks like it might have been one of those, you know, spots where he leveled himself in the call since it was blind versus blind. He said he would have like scooped the mass. Yeah, and I don't hate the idea, right? There's there's a lot of draws out there. He has the six, so he blocks the the flopped joint the six five, and. <laughs> While he does have that king of diamonds, which isn't necessarily the best card, um, it actually you know gives his opponent all of the inferior flush draws that he can beat. So it's really not that bad. Uh, yeah, so it's just one of those spots where you know he's kind of putting on his cape there, right? But I think the bigger question in my mind is you know what are the sizes here, and if we're gonna call all the way down to king high, that means that. We're very likely overcalling unless we just start sort of you know going with a read or something there, and that very may well be what the case was. He kind of thought he had a read on Danny, and it was just uh, upside down. Steven, did you see Philip when you were in Europe? No, he texted me. He was. Uh we missed each other for like two days. He had to go to Switzerland. Julian in the chat saying um, like Slick Rick is someone yeah. that left his six-figure job to go pro in poker. <clears throat> there is a question mark there on the end. So is he asking that question or not sure? You know, I think I've actually might have seen the same player maybe vlogging or shooting poker shorts I'm not sure um, so maybe he has a YouTube channel of something okay sorry my reaction was that bubble you're like you, know, you told me you know, all I always thought was I like, know that we've got a uh, <laughs> got a local Austin poker player who uh, I think his first vlog he does some vlogging and uh, puts out some stuff like that his first vlog I think was sort of titled um, left my uh, Six-figure job to start right, poker, and hand, right. so perhaps there's you know some confusion between those players. So I, I could say that this player is not Jay Win, who is the yeah, guy. Yeah, so you're talking out. about Jay Win, right? <laughs> yeah, that's Jay Win. Th this is a different different fellow. Not sure if that uh, clears anything up, but uh, Jizz Biscuit here <laughs> says he has a TikTok. Well, okay then. Apparently. Supposed to know about this guy. <laughs> you caught me, guys. Didn't do my research on every player at the table tonight. Wow. Got him. All right, JD here with the Kings up against a combo draw here. Getting not quite full pot. Carlos will make the call. Stack pot ratio very nearly one, and it is a spade on the end. Carlos gets there. Not the river card JD wanted to see here. Yeah, and the real problem for him, too, is that he has the king of spades. This is a spot where he could go for a block. <coughs> try to target a nine. But instead, he's going to go all in and go for the sort of merge here. Ooh, nice hand. 
Bro said another hand get out of line. Yeah. I don't know. I think a lot of people will look at that and sort of, you know, raise an eyebrow as to what JD's going for there. And I was going to show you the Kings and say, see, I told you. Get out yeah, it's, it's one of those situations where having the king of spades, I think, really factored into his play there. Yeah, I mean, there's still some hands you can still get value from. Um, I mean, it might be a little thin. I mean, exactly queens, all right? Uh, queens with the queen of spades. Might consider paying for that off in that spot. I'm not sure. Yeah, I, I think that's definitely what JD was, was targeting there. You know, based on pre-flop action, uh, yeah, Carlos doesn't typically raise pre-flop all that often. Um, so maybe seeing it, maybe put him out exactly queens there. <clears throat> or tens. Yeah, tens also could find a call, a call uh, just given the fact that the, the jack on the end really shouldn't change that much. Um, as far as JD's uh, hands are concerned. Nope. Very yeah. nice hand there for Carlos, getting the full double up. Very early on in the stream. Do you see Mark Wee in the chat? How's it going, Mark? Hope you're doing well. Yeah, I have like 500 left. 9150 more, so I have like 600 left. Spades here for Carlos. He's going to put him back to work. He will make it one and a quarter to go. Flops top pair and his opponent, <laughs> RV Phil, sitting on ace high and looking at not the worst board in the world for a naked ace. He will make the call. Carlos continues for a small size on the turn. Keeps that ace in there, and now with a full house on the river. See if he goes for another middling size here, trying to get called by exactly what RV Phil has. But RV is done with it. Carlos takes it down. Great start for Carlos, but as we've seen many times on our stream, still have you know, another five and a half hours. Anything can happen in either direction. Of course, we do have Kevin tonight dealing our live stream. We haven't seen him dealing uh, in quite some time. One of our, I'd say, I'd say personally, one of our better dealers in our card room. I think he actually might have dealt our very, very first live stream. Nice. Here at Dallas. Um, he did have a longer beard at the time. Almost uh, Amish looking. <clears throat> King 752 tone here. Looks like uh, Nick has flopped top pair. A little bit of a card misread error here on RV Phil's hand. So we'll have to take... His hand with a grain of salt. Does look like he's got at least a five in there, perhaps. So he'll continue with a bet on the flop. Nick, the only caller. That calls about a 250 now and still heads up to the river we go. Three of spades completing the front door flush draw. And RV Phil is going to go for a bet check call and now lead out for a 900 line. 
nearly full pot. And Nick quickly lets go of the top pair. Harvey Phil take that one down with the mystery hand. He might not have necessarily had a five either, right? Because mm -hmm. in their history of misreads or uh, not scanning both cards at the same time, sometimes just pick up the next scanner's card. I regret yeah. ever telling you to believe in yourself. Yeah, in absolutely. Regrets. May have had a five, may not have. We'll never know. Danny's the stranger. Money flows around like this. Circle of life. See, Benham is a believer in the 9-4 of hearts, or sorry, spades. Ah, oh, no, he's not. 9-4 of spades, of course, the, uh, the hand that John Ryan used to punk uh, Wolfgang off of those pocket kings a couple weeks back. <coughs> I guess also hear some players talking about that hand. <laughs> yeah. That's quite the hand. Very much was. Single raise pot to 75. Pretty much everyone at the table calls. And Queen 10 10 rolls off. It's going to be top pair for HCR, the best hand for the time being. Checks to Nick in the cutoff with his up and down straight draw. That's 275. HCR does make the call. Go heads up to a turn. Bingo. Nick gets there immediately. Broadway on the turn. Hot bet from Nick in position here. HCR going to take another peek at the King Queen of Spades, which has certainly shriveled up a little bit. And he, indeed, he will just let that go. Not going to pay off any additional bets. While we get the next hand dealt out here, another reminder, we've got the full classic <coughs> in full swing down at Texas Card House Spring. One of the next events coming up here, we got the 150K progressive knockout bounty coming up on October 14th and 15th, a two-day event there with a couple of starting flights, $600 buy-in. Progressive knockout bounty, you know, the Texas Hold'em. If you're in or around the spring area, put that in your calendar. Plan on playing that this weekend. A little bit of something for everybody here. Of pairs and a gut shot to the nizzles. Two pair now for Benham. Daniel, I called you down way too lightly. Never, never. There's no such thing as too light. I have seen that. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Runs out a one-liner to the wheel, but a little bit hard to think of anybody having a deuce here. Turns out poker is a hard game. It's a little hard sometimes. Yeah. And Benham is going to continue checking. Tries to give JD a little bit of rope to hang himself with, but... JD just going to show down the pair of threes. Benham will drag the pot. Yeah. LB <laughs> Coleman joining us in the chat. What's going on? Welcome. So been dating Dallas women.
Uh, I mean, sir. Got your eyes done? Yeah. Seven he's procedures. He's still feeling the five seat. You can see now. Yeah. So we're to we were thinking about you a lot. Thank you, I appreciate it, Phil. Sensitive. 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 Sensitive.
Okay, so the state fairs, well, I guess I, I've mostly been to, like, county fairs, um, I guess. And I presume it's got a lot of similar flavor, right? There's, like, blooming onions and, you know, corn dogs and all that, the usual yeah, fried Flet food. Fletcher's corn dogs and turkey yeah. legs. But there's a lot of, like, specialty nice things that, um, that, like, a lot of people around the state submit. And then they get judged, and then the, the winners of each category get, like, kind of uh, featured for each state fair. Nice. So there's, like, a, there's a lot of, like, homemade um, items that you wouldn't see, like, at a typical state fair around the, around the country. They're kind of, like, very local to uh, Texas. Very cool. All right. Well, that does sound interesting. Like, uh, one year, I remember they had a funnel cake bacon cheeseburger. Wow. Um, I played your hand. There's, like, yeah, there's a bunch of random stuff, like, a lot of, like, fried Oreo thing. There's so many different, a lot of fried foods, for sure. So, definitely bring your Tums if you're going to go. <laughs> yeah. Sounds necessary. Six hour stream? Yeah. So I, I take it that's running right now, or will be this weekend or something. Uh, looks like I've lost air to the internet. No, uh, sorry, I was listening to. Did you ask me a question? I was listening to what uh, Phil was saying. Oh, sorry. Yes, I was asking you. Is the uh, state fair going on right now? Yeah, yeah. It's. I think it's going for another week or two. Maybe it starts the last week of September and then goes through either the third week or last week of October. Very good. Sorry, I didn't mean to ignore you. <laughs> so I just. I get. I'm getting. I just get zoned out sometimes. <laughs> Oh, no, you're good. I looked at your little video screen. It looked like you were frozen, so I thought that uh, the internet cut out for you. Oh, yeah, Tyler's saying he's taking his wife to the first Texas State Fair on Monday. Her favorite food's a corn dog, and, man, do they have the best corn dogs. The Fletcher's corn dogs are amazing. Yeah, I'm definitely a sucker for a corn dog. Yeah, they put a lot of money RV Phil here still way out in front. And the Venom will release on the turn bed. Oh, okay. tell me to autograph This is his shirt, actually. Thank you for that information, Mark. It's like the 22nd is the last day of the State Fair. So still a couple of weeks left. We'll that is get, not uh, the day you want to go, though. <laughs> <laughs> I can guarantee that. Do not go the last day of the State Fair. Noted. Or, I mean, even really just don't go the last weekend, if anything. <laughs> like, try, try to go during the week if your schedule allows it. Sure. RV Phil here, gonna squeeze from the straddle position. It's called in what looks like two places. Indeed, Slick and Nick both make the call. And it's a flopped straight for RV Phil. Top hair, top kicker. Here for Slick Rick. The pinnacle of my hockey career was playing in between the second and third period with, in my, like, uh, when I was in... One liner to a straight out here. Straight RV Phil hoping that yeah. somebody has a jack and only a jack. But that's a little bit too large to get good. called by the top pair, top yeah. kicker with no club. Yeah, so this guy, he, uh, his brother goes to prison in the show. That's in there for RV Phil. Like and yeah, Doug actually brings up another great point. Um, try not to go on the days that, because um, actually, you know, the state fair is so big. Uh, a lot of the schools in the area, um, in multiple school districts, will actually give their students a fair day. And it's like it's like a ho it's a school holiday in like North Texas. <laughs> yeah, so it's usually on like a Monday um, in late September, or early October. 
Okay. They have like all sorts of carnival rides and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, carnival rides, games, attractions, uh, shows, uh, you know, up to like pig races, and, uh, pet the petting zoo. Okay. Um, you can like watch like competitions, cooking competitions. Sweet. And you could like kind of be part of like the tasting of it too. There's a lot of fun stuff to do. Sweet. Yeah, sounds like some of the county fairs that I used to go to when I was a kid in Colorado, but just I'm sure on steroids since it's yeah, the state absolutely. fair in Texas. Texas State Fair. Yeah, not any state fair. The Texas State Fair. They're actually like the blueprints of the prison. So then he can be like, all right, we're going to go here and here. But he does it in like a coach because they can't tell the difference. It doesn't like look like yeah. blueprints. Like once you yeah. see it, you're like, oh shit. Talking about like, prison break? Yeah. A pair yeah. and a plush yeah. right here for Venom. The first season, first season. Turn. I, I have to get this. Bill picks up the second pair to go with, yeah. with his gut <laughs> shot. Uh, I heard like in the, there's like five seasons and later they go back to different prisons. And Will makes the call. Needs to improve on the river and does. Does. Finds two pair here on the end. It's a one-liner to a straight, and yeah, he feels like he needs to lead out to get paid so that his opponent doesn't check behind. A little bit of 400 into nine, and Venom's like, huh, what, whatever bluffs for this size, this doesn't really feel right, and yeah, he's able to get away from it. Oh yeah, so good, dude. So much better than the movies. Well, I'm excited because it's finally putting more back into like the shows. Which yeah. Is, yeah. Like, so they, they really destroyed yeah. the, like, almost destroyed the the whole franchise with those movies. I wish they could just like retcon them and go with the same stuff. It's just it's crazy. Oh, how yeah. much New uh, Star Wars show yeah. on the uh, Disney Plus. I've not watched any uh, Star Wars spin-offs. No. No. I don't even think I've watched those. Yeah. All oh, whatever. Seven. Seven. The prequels and the postquels are in. Yeah. No, it's it's funny because they're cartoons, but they're way better than the movies. Like, You're talking about Rebels. Yeah, Star Wars. And then. Uh, Is that because of your love for the Confederacy, or what? What do you? What? I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah. There's a couple of good shows. Whatever. That are, I've seen your tattoo uh, stars and bars. The Mandalorians go to. Mandalorian. Yeah. yeah. And so I like the show, but only because yeah. I like it's like a continuation of Rebels. It's like season five of Rebels, basically. Mm -hmm. Rebels. Pretty good flop here for Nick. Slick Rick does flop a flush draw. And he's going to play this as a check call. And bingo's the flush right here on the turn. Had perhaps one of the worst flush draws he could ever have there as well. So. Ops not to check raise it on the flop. Does still get about a 250 called on the turn, however. You're from around here, right? Fort Worth, Texas. And keeps it very small on the end as well. One third, almost a block size. But no matter how you cut it, the black eights don't feel very good. They go into the muck and Slick Rick will drag that pop. As is. Like cats. <laughs> 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 he's like, I'm always in the back of these crime scenes. Please save his I'm just in the back all the time. Can I get water and green tea, please? <laughs> Other siding of the Jacks here for Nick this time makes it 75 to go, and RV Phil going to raise it up on the button. RV Phil's three bet button seems to be stuck down as he has done a lot of that. <laughs> Up those bad and Nick and here sort of showing that he was uh, ready to get in the mix three. there before oh, Danny oh, had acted. Danny okay. will make it 1K to go. The cold four bet. Nick quickly calls, and RB Phil is in the mix. So we're going to go three players to a flop. Clubs would be pretty spicy. <laughs> <laughs> What are they, just plastic chips? Yeah. 
<laughs> top top for Danny here. That king. Yeah. Not the cards that <laughs> Nick wanted to see. Looking for one third sizing here. Imagine trying to size up a turn jam if he gets called in any of the spots here. Yeah, already sort of a committing spot for Nick. And he does let it go, especially with a player left to act behind. Just awkward all around. And that's kind of the problem with Jax there, is you're going to get put in a lot of awkward spots. And he'll chip up a little bit there. here with the ace queen suited limping it under the gun. <laughs> and JD wakes up with the birds. Tilt. I knew that was coming. <laughs> I, I hold that hope for him thinking, you know, he won't treat me like an asshole. Would have thought that Carlos would be doing this in order to back raise, but with nobody else in there, there's not a ton of dead money available. He's just going to call and play this one in position with a pretty strong hand. He bricks this flop super hard, though. And but a 250 might be tough for him to continue with, even with a hand disguised as it is. You got to act like you got one through, you know? You, you got to, you just have to. It's like if you ever bluff somebody and you have a two or something, right? You got to show them the two. <laughs> That's why PLO is so great. If you bluff them, you have the, extra, you have the danglers to show. That's right. But a nice fold there, of course, by Carlos. He was quite behind there. Against the aces. Already fell like up with the nines, making, wait, making it 75 to go. And the jacks again here for another player. And I don't see Arvey Phil folding for 225 more, and we'll go heads up. Finally, what I came here to see. Comes King High All Hearts. Both players with a heart. Danny with the better flush draw, of course. Whoever loses, I win. <laughs> Turn those pair of the board here. Shouldn't really change. opponents could have. You'd expect Danny to be betting his top sets. A same bet sort of situation here, very small. Uh, C bet, or sorry, um, yeah, I guess you could call it a continuation. On the turn, RB just sort of maintaining the betting lead there so that he could get a uh, check check on the end. But Danny has the best of it. <laughs> I don't think cover this earlier, but if you during the stream they will post you if you're not here, so just heads up. They'll post your blinds if you're not here during the stream.
Have y'all heard of these things? Voodoo Rangers? <laughs> That's fruit juice? <laughs> no, Isn't it like that cider uh, stuff? It's a special kind of juice. No, Voodoo <laughs> Ranger, it's Daddy a juice. really strong IPA. Oh. <laughs> we have to tell the kids. <laughs> nine, like, 9.5. My friends, my friends kids, when they want to like drink yeah. some of the beer, you're like, no, 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 no. They're like, that's, uh, that's daddy's juice. You can't I, 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 I just love how he can think, like <laughs> talk about it as these things. <laughs> like, <laughs> y'all ever seen one of these things before? <laughs> yeah, he did kind of present that in a funny way. One liner to Broadway is on the board. Carlos does control the 10 as well as two spades, so he... Got uh, very nearly a hammer lock on this hand. But Nick is the one betting here, sort of trying to rep I'll pay you the 10. Carlos says, I'll pay you off. I'm not sure. <laughs> is he JD laughing? <laughs> RV Phil here definitely dictating the action. Forty one percent RFI here and definitely has a quite high V-pip and aggression frequency as well. Playing a lot of hands and playing them quite strongly. Apparently Robert here in the chat had two Voodoo Rangers the other night and it was a early night for him. <laughs> yeah, it's tough to handle more than just a couple of those. It definitely sure, takes sure its toll. Space, huh? It's like mead. Dude, yeah, those it's things a weak, are no It's joke. like a weak wine, strong beer. That's what the redraw. Big Broadway hands crashing into each other here. No, I'm not even Bill has himself. been free betting kind of light up until this point. <laughs> Can't read anybody. We'll get called by a dominated hand, and Danny comes along as well. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> Excuse me. And what a flop. Wow, what a is. flop. Yeah. Everyone catching a piece of it here. RV Phil with top pair, top kicker with the back door, nut flush draw. Slick Rick with top pair, uh, but is out kick right now with back door diamonds. And Danny with the front door spades. This could get interesting here. RV Phil being first to act is definitely going to sort of set the tone for the hand as there's not a lot of incentive, I would say, for the other players to do any raising, but I see Slick Rick does make the call and Danny in position here with the queen high flush draw. I lost the minimum, but yes, thank you, JD, for your advice. Can't give a little action, you know? We'll just go ahead and Take the turn for the set price, and it's a queen now on the turn. Danny picking up some additional outs. And look at that, Slick Rick picking up his backdoor diamond draw. And, you know, that can't be Phil's favorite card either, as King-Queen does make two pair on the turn. Uh, and Danny might actually just happily take this free river card here with his equity. Let's check through here. Brick City on the end. Somehow, some way, RV Phil maintains the best hand here. And with 2365 in the middle here, I wouldn't hate a one third pot size bet, but he checks it. Two quick checks behind. Still a nice pot there for RV oh, Phil. Nice hand there. Yeah, very nice hand there for RV Phil. And I totally, totally agree with what you're saying. He definitely could have tried to target, um, you know, obviously King Jack and King 10 suited type holdings. Yeah, it kind of goes both ways. Like either a check or a small blockish kind of bet. They both kind of say to your opponents, like, my hand is 
somewhat weak, right? Like somewhat yeah, vulnerable pair, over here. Um, and could get raised, which would be unfortunate. And you'd certainly feel a lot more comfortable kind of check calling um, what could even like be, you know, pot size better or something than you so would betting and that. getting raised full and pot. And so like, oh, understandable oh, to go for the check pause, there. You know? um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, you, you could definitely go a couple of different ways, I think. No, I love my poker here in the chat wondering if this is on a replay saying so many hands with action. No, this is live poker right now on a 15 minute delay, but all these hands did happen live 15 minutes ago and we're just commentating live for y'all for the live stream and this is quite the flop for RV Phil. Flopping the nut straight. Just goes for the check call. And then a quick check check on the turn. I think this is the danger of having a super dusty pre-flop hand that flops the joint. And that's just like totally your board. I think you just sort of obligated to check raise. Uh, if you don't check raise with this, like what do you check raise with? I guess your sets and you just... I mean, you, you'd actually yeah. rather check raise with 8-5 and hope that your That's opponent somehow has a set because you don't block any of those. But RB Phil is still going to get paid 500 on the end. As Slick Rick is like, eh, I don't know what fives you really have here. Oh, no, you just have 8-5. You have the five. It does pay it off. But, yeah, anyways, what I was trying to say there is that... Uh, had he check raised the flop, definitely would have gotten called. You get a texture changing card such as the three, and uh, you know things might slow down. You might not get paid again, but imagine if it's just you know any other card, you could definitely continue barreling. And uh, all of the draws still seem available, right? Pocket nines are probably going to call across multiple streets there. Turn card, so. <laughs> perhaps <laughs> missed an equity. Perhaps did not. Carlos limps the button and HCR raises to a very modest 75 with 540. Does have the only diamond available. gets the job done with a bet on the turn. Uh, Poker Monkey wants me to talk about variants. Uh, yeah, that is a very real part of the game, particularly for those of us that play the game quite frequently. You will see the ebbs and the flows of variants as you will win, 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 as Poker Monkey says, and then be card dead and lose many times in a row. Um, I mean, it's the nature of the beast, right? And... It is very tough, though. I I'm kind of in a five-week five week slump at the moment, one of the longer ones that I've had, and it really takes its toll on you. You know, you show up, you're maybe taking a few days off, you try to be bright-eyed bright and bushy-tailed, you know, this is going to be my day, we'll get back in there, and then you just get cooler three more times and have an early night again. And You know, it just uh, it comes and it goes, and I would say that my best piece of advice when going through sort of particularly the downside of the variance is to just be honest with yourself about what you're capable of doing as far as playing and not having the uh, the downswing affect your your play like as soon as you recognize that you're tilting that your play is being affected just 
feel free to walk to, away, to, like, take some time off, come back fresh. Yeah, process, uh, and then also on the flip side of that, like when you're in the up, 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 like you can't so seem to lose, you, um, you know, don't necessarily like go into paranoia mode of like, oh God, I'm about to just, you know, have things turn around at any moment. I'm going to get stacked because I've been running too good. But just appreciate that for what it is and just really give yourself the time to to soak in the positive energy of the universe like yeah yeah i was actually I gonna lose. piggyback off of that yeah i totally agree with what you're saying with that yeah because i mean we're we're blessed with the upswings and the downswings and it can feel like a curse but you know you don't get one without the other so yeah that's uh that's yeah if anything is. um like Aaron was saying, you want to channel how you were feeling during your run good and kind of remember uh, that feeling when you are starting to run bad and just kind of say, like, you know, I mean, at some point, uh, you know, everyone's going to run as good as I did when I was on the, that week's that multi-week upswing or whatever. And then, uh, you know, no, that eventually that downswing will end, right? So, <laughs> God. After five weeks, though, I'll tell you, it sure does. Yeah, yeah, like but <laughs> feels like I understand you're just stuck that. there forever. After that, and there were 1,200 people there when I moved to Prosper. Every time we study one, they have to. Yeah, that area, I feel like. Isn't there a way Darwin like wrote his book? No, I just left there a year and a half ago. There's some stuff that's like. You know, there's kind of something to be said for um, when you are maybe on a longer downswing. Uh, Maybe sometimes leaving a bit earlier than you typically would have if you are like up a little bit, so you can just book that win and kind of have that confidence to say like, okay, yeah, it's I, I can win, you know, like it's. Uh, um, I think one of my friends put it like, you know, if you look at your stack, how how um, damaging would it be to your mental game if you were to just lose that whole stack the very next hand, and uh, if you, like say you are on a big downswing, like. You know, losing that whole stack, say you're, if you're up like a few hundred bucks or a thousand bucks, and you know, if you lose that whole stack, that just make your downswing even longer. But I don't know, I guess people might have different thoughts on that. No, I think that's spot on. And, the, you know, there's sort of the all-encompassing, just like pay attention to, you know, your own emotional state and how you react to it. But that is something that... I've never really been very good at, right? There's the kind of stigma around hitting and running. Um, but, you know, honestly, it's like, if you're not a hit and runner, like, if that's just not your MO, you usually show up, you play for six to ten hours or maybe even longer, and everybody knows that's just what you do. And you roll in one day and you cruise on out with a win after two and a half hours, and you're like, later on, dudes, like, I need yeah, this for yeah. myself. Like, no one's going to exactly. hate you for that, yeah, right? Like, yeah, okay. you can do that. So yeah, yeah, cool. I, I wish I would have done that the other night because I did exactly <laughs> what you said. I was up about uh, 700, and then oh, it all got cooler away, and I walked out the door feeling even worse than if I just lost my buy-in. Yeah, it was, it was actually... Um, Kim Stone, I'm sure you've commented a few streams that she's played, and uh, yeah, she she brought that up to me, and I was like, that's a very very good point. Like, you know, the times that I had been on a really long, like not a really long, but you know, two week, three week downswing, and you know, and I'm finally getting a session where I'm like, oh okay, like first two three hours, I'm I'm up a little bit, and I think this would be beneficial to my mental game to be able to just kind of book the win and kind of start maybe a new a new streak, you know? So absolutely. Let's come back to that here. Two red kings here for Nick. RB Phil makes the call and hijack after raising to 58 with the jack 8 0. He's out of there though. The Netflix made it for you have to get in your house to be on the account. I never got a TCH only Netflix account. I guess I should have. Yeah, one more more comment on that, uh, on that vein is let's say that you're usually a 2-5 or a 1-3 player um, 
Mm. It's, it's I know a point you're about to yeah. just step down to one two for a few sessions. Absolutely. And just like go splash around in a game where you know that your skill is going to be significantly higher. And even if like you are still just getting cooler because that's just the way you're running and that's not going to change because the poker gods are just having fun with you, you'll lose small $300 buy-ins or whatever, you know, and like it just won't, it won't hurt as bad. Um, so that's, that's another good way to kind of definitely deal with things. Oh, wow. What a flop and turn here. Carlos flopping the nuts and Nick going to turn two pair. Ever since we played the $400 the game. Let's have the redraw. Too. What's that? Safe run out there for Carlos. Uh, I don't see him folding here, but maybe he won't He won't raise. Uh, definitely just going to make the call, I think. Probably going to make the same speech. Say, so I'm going to pay you off with the nut straight. That is uh, not quite exactly how it goes out, but very similar. As, yeah, Nick very much thought that he was going for value there. And tough go of it here for Nick as he has kind of dwindled down early on, added on, and is now sitting on up over 10K in chips. You see those uh, the blue 1Ks hanging out there near the rail. But things have not been going too well for him. JD still stuck the most, of course, with the, uh, the big pocket king's jam earlier. He's running hot somewhere. That's something that going wrong exactly. against Carlos. That we'll have the $50 straddle on again here from RV Phil. We'll have to see it when they put that on for this game. Poker Monkey says that he's rarely, if ever, tilted. And, you know, I'd say that a lot of the people that I know are pretty composed, including myself, when it comes to, like, real tilt. But, man, I have seen it rear its ugly head here within the last couple of weeks because, you know, when it just drags on and on and on, it and it just feels like... You just can't get away from it. Uh, tilt will come for all of us, and yeah, I mean, I've I've had some I've had some tilt for sure, and just been like, no, I'm out of here. Like, I can't play like this, right? Like, not only do I not want to lose more and become more tilted, but I will play poorly. players to a flop here. 10, 9, 9. Nines are hot here this evening. A couple of straight draws. JD with the over cards. Not wanting to let go of the king high. It does settle on a fold at the end of the day. Nick will take it down. He's going to stop for FD from the cup and that's how they did the like. I guess I'll go up and down. Yeah, the graphics changed. It's, it's ridiculous. <laughs> They're talking about our graphics. It's like the games I played last week, like in the river, it's just as I have like. I started hitting on 13K in the river, it says it's 13K. It says your starting stack, it doesn't like adjust. So. The hand that I got against that guy that talked to you, it said it was 49K. Like, what? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Didn't 
quite catch the uh, the action there, but looks like RV Phil is on pocket queens, perhaps. Yeah, did just limp in from the big blind since it had folded to him. That kind of stuff can really affect the numbers. He's still like waiting to spring the trap here, hoping that Benham so, will yeah. mm -hmm. make a I hand. Really and <laughs> wow, a giant fistful of black chips. On the end, 1,200 into 200. And that was asking to get real wrecked. I don't know if uh, you get paid by many worse hands there. But RV Phil trying to play a little bit unorthodox to see if he could make the max. from the big blind with the jack-10 of diamonds. <laughs> CR opened and RV uh, Phil made much. the call from the small blind. Since, yeah, since HCR will make the call. That'll bring it's RV it's Phil along and Actually, over $1,000 in the middle. Some pretty time, I, uh, dusty hands it. represented, but it's going to be a top pair flop here, here for Venom and he'll be rewarded seven, for the three bet. Quickly checks though. A little bit of a there was a remote control choice in my day. What was like the first show on AS was it like a talk show? Like a You'd really center? hate to yeah. see an ace king or queen oh, yeah, right yeah. Yeah. on the turn. Seven of hearts yeah, also not maybe the best yeah. card you'd like to see, but That's how I learned to start betting now. Well, 50 to go. Yeah. <laughs> Every Stanley Cup it seems. Arky Phil with no heart. Welcome, welcome. Make the call with just a gut shot and the ace high. Um, I doubled up <laughs> this gentleman here. Did you? I'm trying to bluff. What? You didn't double me. I know, did you? Thank you. Nice <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Where'd you get all those chips, <laughs> RV Phil is going to rip it all in. Whoa, what a play. <laughs> Checks through on the flop. Check calls the turn and is now all in, putting Benham to the test for 4K. Oh, and he makes the call. What a call there by Benham. That's yeah. a 13K pot headed towards Benham. Man, he didn't really think for that long. The overbet jam. From RV Phil. What a call. Yeah, I mean, that was a little bit wild. It was about a 2x pot jam there on the end. And I mean, you really just have to ask yourself, like, what does he ever do this with? And when he doesn't bet the turn after check through, he probably doesn't have a straight or a flush. So then it's just like a five or nothing. And if he's just got a five or nothing, I mean, yeah. Jack's pretty good against that. Yeah, great call there by Benham. And correctly recognizing exactly what Aaron was describing. And, you know, it's a very polarizing bet. It's repping air or... You know, very nutted hands like quads and straight flushes. Thank you. Yeah, if RV Phil goes for a small check raise, setting up a roughly like pot sized river jam, I think it dramatically changes the thought process there for Benham. Uh, but given the fact that it just is a check call and then a uh, sort of a donk rip. It just, it sort of screams, I missed my draw and I'm gonna apply max pressure to try to get you to fold. And that is exactly what happened. What do you think, you like it out here? 
Robert Haney says, good call, easy call. <laughs> I'm not sure I would say that's an easy call. Certainly, Benham made I it taken, look easy. Yeah. I would have taken 10 times as long for Benham as Benham did to make that call. <laughs> if, if I even did make the call, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, well, the, the troubling part about taking longer to think about that one is that you might talk yourself out of it. So <laughs> you know, maybe it is better to just be like, nah, I don't believe this, and just make the call before you can change Fair enough, fair enough. But I do think that it's a very nuanced position that a lot of players uh, might have a lot more trouble with simply because of the amount of money that's being considered, not so much about the way the hand was played, right? Because if you do, if you are able to remove yourself from the amount of money that's being wagered and you say to yourself, we check through on the flop, makes sense. He could have he could have all kinds of good hands. But then when he check calls the turn, like he just doesn't have that many good hands anymore. And then John grips the river, like you know, what does that make sense? How, how does that make sense for a hand that beats me? All the hands. Put all that, that together. Yeah. Yeah. What do you do for money? Like, uh, definitely, like, all, yeah, all the hands that want to get called um, are probably going to go for more value heavy sizing, right? Rather than a 2x pot. Really yeah. heads, you know? <laughs> well, and he dramatically limits, in my opinion, dramatically limits the number of value hands that he yeah, can have correct. by not check raising the turn. Yes. yes. Or even just leading out, right? If he if he bets out or check raises the turn, he can have all the best hands. But by the river, I think he just can't. And and that's I think where Benham made his decision, right? He's kind of like, eh, yeah, it's four thousand dollars, and that's way more than is in the pot. But like. I don't buy the story. You run good on stream, or? Huh? You run good on stream, or? They think they said since last was. year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not since last year. He did for the first two years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not this year. Last year. Yeah. All right, just a $25 straddle on this one. Benham will open on the button with the 8 7 suited. We have, we were waiting for the table to fill. We were waiting for you. Bottom pair for Benham. Three to a straight for Danny, and that's about it. Quickly out of the way. Let's talk about more tournament poker. Ireland, of course, uh, TCH Dallas yeah. running the big one on weekends. 30K guarantee, $65 buy-in. And later on this month, at the end of the month, we've got the even bigger one. Eight starting flights starting on the 25th of October, working into a day two with a 250K guarantee. All the information there at texascardhouse.com slash Dallas. RV. Go ahead and check that out if you're in or around the area here at the end of the month. Some great value to be had in that tournament. Yeah, that, that thing has actually been very, very successful. Um, I think consistently we've had 50 plus thousand for first uh, for the past two times and uh, a lot of good feedback from the players. So um, might be even some, something worth traveling for if you're maybe in Austin or uh, Houston or relatively close to Dallas. Absolutely. Yeah, I. I thought about coming up there for the last one at the end of September, but just kind of had a little bit too much going on. Wasn't able to make that happen, but perhaps at the end of this month, I'll be a little bit more free and can swing it. East King, gonna flop the joint here, Broadway for Benham. Yeah, what a time to be alive if you're Benham. You've got all these opponents in there. Somebody's got to have at least a flush draw or, you know, pair plus straight draw, something like that to get value from. And you have the ace king of clubs here, but everybody out of the way so far except for RV Phil. And 
Yeah, he is in kind of a tough spot. He'll make the call fresh off of doubling up Venom on the previous hand, and there oh, is no. the king high straight for Phil. I mean, this is like one of those spots that everybody yeah. knows to be super cautious, though. So, like, RV Phil may pay off another small bet, but I wouldn't. I mean, I guess he could also just sort of block lead here as well, which may be what he's thinking about. It's like he's strongly considering. He's going to go pretty big, actually. That's Over pot, 2,200. And Venom could be getting free rolled by Ace X of Spades, so it doesn't make a ton of sense for him to just shovel all the money in. He's also in position, so if RV Phil is ever just bluffing, he can just call and let Phil just kind of blast away. So I like this call. It looks like he does agree with you. We'll just make the call with the nuts here. Uh, hoping for a safer card. No port, board pairing or spade, and oh no. Harvey <laughs> Phil gets super bailed out here. Broadway on oh board. God. <laughs> Venom's like, what just what? happened? How, how <laughs> am I not winning card. this whole pot? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I think RV Phil owes Venom a, uh, a Voodoo Ranger. He should he should give him at least half a Voodoo Ranger for that. Yeah, that was like three thousand in profit that just went to dust. <laughs> nice wow. Oh my gosh. I've had those happen, and and this is the sort of hand that can tilt you as well. Like forget about running bad and getting stacked over and over. A hand like this can send you on the tilt. Like. <laughs> yeah, he was, what, like 95% on the flop? <laughs> Something like that, or 90%. Then, well, to have RV Phil over pot it on the turn, drawing yeah. dead to an ace, like, like, how do you not win that gigantic pot? <laughs> what happened? I, I don't think Venom tilts, though. It's just the demeanor I've seen him play um, from stream to stream. He's, he's probably just laughing it off, actually. Just like, wow. <laughs> like, this guy almost gave me this whole stack. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, and he did just get the double just a moment ago. So, yeah, I think I think he'll take it in stride. All right, we do have Tom joining us here in the one seat. And JD already pushing for the Nick game. But perhaps Tom wanting to get acclimated a little bit before he jumps into the fire. I mean, that's what they're fucking here for. That's not bad. Yeah, what if you don't like Kevin? Is it time to I don't care. You guys good? Do you want to do it? Give it a sign. Give it a sign. Give it a sign. Next hand, next hand, next hand. Wait, we're not doing it. Not this hand, not this hand. All right, $100. Including the RV Phil certainly loves a chop pot. I think Venom was feeling that way. Oh, that's cool. I like that. They're doing mid game uh, for $100, including the dealer. Alright, so the net game is not in effect for this hand. We will do it on the next hand. But yes, next hand, sorry. It's going to be a flop gut shot here for Nick. Also, top pair for HCR. I believe it. I believe it. Just because they throw them bananas in there. Like they're actual bananas. This is a big game. This is a big game. Very interesting plays here. A lot of donk leading going on. Nick doing it on this hand. Bet's 450 on the flop. Now 700 on the turn. HCR, though, he's not folding. 
pot has blown up. That's three out of five. Only 2,400 left behind. Yeah, if you make it this far with this line, I think you are obligated to rip it in. Nick, I guess, doesn't quite go all in. Just throws a couple of 1Ks out there. are here put to the test for very nearly all of his remaining chips is 10 not even kicking the queen coming on the end slightly improves his hand although he doesn't beat anything that he was beating before that he wasn't beating before he does make the call and a fantastic call there from hcr <laughs> hanging on with the top pair i said not was the nip hand, nip button was for this hand? No, 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 it wasn't on that hand. Yeah. That's, That's the only reason I went yeah. that way, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I was just, I would have, like, aggressively tried to win that pot, but I would have been too tilted <laughs> if I won that, so. So Nick there, hand in the cookie right, jar. Let's go. And HCR nice. gets we're nearly a double up. Nicely played. $100, not show your hand. Don't and that's a, I think, much tougher spot to hold on you tell somebody than, uh, than what we, what we saw earlier just because it was aggression across <laughs> multiple streets instead of just like all of a sudden someone's all in and you're like, wait, what? How does that make sense? Have we ever had an enforcement penalty? I don't know. Today's going to be the day. HCR. Chipping up nicely, 7,700 in the stack. Remind them, say, hey, hey, you got your hands. Ooh, I want to see how many nip buttons I can collect. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still in the game. In effect here, Tom flops best. That's 75 here, very small wager with the second pair. Slick Rick looks to be going for a check raise. There it is, 325 it is. Usually a board like this reserve your best like super nutted hands for this sort of play if you do it at all quick call though from Tom with the pair of sixes and work gets pretty connected Slick Rick on a couple of hearts and not that many chips behind all things considered stack to pot ratio at three could set up a big bet and jam if he wants to. That 500 half pot, and that's enough to get the job done. Six goes into the muck. We're we'll starting next hand. Next hand. <laughs> yeah, that's Coming after this one, except for Nick on the button. Phil will defend his straddle, so heads up to a flop. Middle pair for Nick. A whole lot of nothing for Phil. So, Tom, are you saying you're, uh, you were up since like for you? There goes the nip button for Nick. 
Like RFI still holding full position there. RV Phil at 29%. Tom new to the game has only played a few hands. Holding out. Zero percent currently. Venom. Eleven percent. One time, like a month or two ago, he took a break and then just disappeared for like yeah, six hours. He was playing for like 40 hours. hours. <laughs> <laughs> so I was sleeping in the parking lot, I guess. So. I might do that next time. I'll come just hire a car and just sleep in the car. <laughs> Are we feel a believer in the nine shrivs? He's in there. Yeah. How long for you? Uh, about a year. Yeah. A little less here. <laughs> top, top for Carlos. <laughs> but Danny here with the betting lead. And he's just going to go ahead and pot this and hope that get a deuce or a six to fold for this size. Definitely not getting ace ten to fold. Carlos will make a call. And now four diamonds on the turn. Pretty safe card. So Carlos is just going to go ahead and lead out here. Interesting decision. Four and a quarter to go. Danny here with super dust. But facing this donk lead, he's going to make the call, load it into position, and see what develops on the end. It's a queen of spades, so front door flush gets in. And if Carlos shows any sort of weakness here, Danny could pounce on this, but it is a big bet. At least half pot from Carlos. And it is a full 1,000, so two thirds. This hand has got to be very confusing. Mm. If you're Danny, and he just, I mean, his hand totally sucks, right? Does he just want to go for it now? Looks like the answer is yes. He's cutting out a raise to 2,500 here, if I'm not mistaken. Gets the job done as well and rolls over the king nine of clubs. Why not? Incredible stuff. I thought, was, I thought that I had a flush. Five black counts, right? Big bluff. Yeah, I just, I mean, some of these lines tonight have me a little bit uh, perplexed and confused, but uh, I mean, Danny there just showing us how it's done, right? When you see this sort of unorthodox line, just float it and pounce in position later on, because, you know, why not? Yeah, until I got too hot out here. Yeah. I love it. Was it Big Man? Oh, yeah. I love my poker. I feel like these guys are good. <laughs> Absolutely right. These guys will give just about anybody a good uh, run for their money. As will many of the players that, uh, that sit down at this table on every Tuesday night. All right, the battle of the suited king queens. Let's see who can come out on top of this one. Has yes, they both flop top two? Anyone the free roll here? RV Phil, a slight edge. Did he end up just jamming on the river there? No, made it a raise to what I think was uh, 2,600. 2,600? Yeah. Yeah, it's no, I li literally, yeah, as that hand happened, <laughs> my internet just blanked, and I was like, no! <laughs> I'm going to miss it as a bluff or not.
RV Phil with the pre-flop lead. Continues for 600 on the flop. Danny, quick call. The backdoor spades are not to be, so we'll chop this pot if we get to showdown. RV Phil slows down with a check now. Danny here hoping that Phil is on something like ace king, maybe king 10 suited. Queen jack, of course, would be fantastic. King jack. Phil will make the call. It's four diamonds on the end, changes nothing. Out three thousand. For such a large size here, it's a little bit tough here, Danny, to think about raising all in for value. But he may just do it, knowing that RV Phil could be up to some sort of weird turn check shenanigans with King Jack or Queen Jack, maybe. Most people, the standard is going to be to just call this. And he'll settle on that as well. <laughs> A little <laughs> slow roll of the chop. You love to see it. Just thinking about uh, jamming there. Huh? Defense. Yeah, it could have been a little bit, uh, a little bit more dramatic about it too. Been like, oh, I can't beat that, you know. And having Hoffer a minute before he rolls it over, but uh, you know, always, always in good fun to. to no, the, yeah, the best roll. line for the chops is uh, that's no good. <laughs> you, you have to say it's no good. So you know, you, you instill the fear of God of that their hand <laughs> that, that they lost. <laughs> Yeah, I guess there's, there's two ways to go with it, right? Like one <laughs> yeah, is that yeah. you try to you try to get their blood nice hand, nice a little hand. bit, yeah. or uh, or the other way where yeah, you try yeah. to convince them that they've won the hand and then you spring. Uh, I can't them. win. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> that might say a lot about someone's personality, actually, because I think I've seen JD do that, and he always says no good. <laughs> like. He, Just likes you to feel bad. Yeah. You lose. Uh, you don't win. Nines continue to be hot. And number 49, and I swear we've seen a board with two nines on it probably. Oh, like half dozen times. It got too hot too quick, and I just decided to get an apartment instead. Did you still go to the No, I sold the band, actually. Uh, I'm one of the players, um, actually. <laughs> Whatever I have in OFC, I haven't seen him in a while. And I'm here calling with King High and the best hand. Slick Rick here, three to a straight, three to a flush, and it's just a bet and a call. He can definitely rep a nine here if he wants to. Is one of the shorter stacks though, so if he goes for a check raise here, probably going to end up in a situation where he ends up committing all of his chips. But he'll just get it through easy peasy. Doesn't even have to show it because he already got rid of his mitt button. Love my poker in chests. They always tell me no good and then they show the nuts. <laughs> yeah, that's not the best feeling. I've heard a lot of those here recently. <laughs> I'll tell you that much. Oh, in the Austin area? <laughs> What's with the Austinites? The oh, no, I just one? mean, uh, sorry, I don't mean the slow roll. I just oh. mean people being like, you're oh, no good and showing nuts. me the nuts. It's oh, I part, see, of I see, the, see. part of the downswing here. Yeah, the other day in the uh, Deuce to Seven tournament, on my second buy-in for my last chips, I went all in with a nine draw 
a one card nine draw and my opponent flat called and then padded because he had number one. <laughs> Just, you know, why not? So that's kind of the way things have been going. Running into the nuts left and right. HCR here, not quite the nuts, but pretty close to it, at least pre-flop. Like Kings makes it 475 and JD yeah, pretty deep with a suited connector. Will make the call. It's up to a flop we go. Pretty good board for HCR and the King. Rolls over the Kings, drags the pot, no more knit button, and we're down to looks like five players still in the knit game. No, it was actually in, uh, they had a separate area, like a conference area, and it's going to be even bigger this year, so they'll probably get a second one. Yeah, they have like cash in the cash area, and then like smaller tournaments and satellites, and like the, you know, the outside yeah, yeah. tournament area that they normally do, and then the big tournaments were in the conference area. I think it's possible, I heard, to play both mains, but it's such a hassle to go to the Hama, so I'm not going to worry about that. Mm. And it's expensive mm -hmm. to uh, stay out there. Yeah. Yes, sir. Hundred dollars straddle. Let's go. And the UK all the tournaments are making records of the live and well. Limp up front from RV Phil. Benham raises it up in the cutoff. And JD looking down at King Queen suited. He's going to squeeze this up from the straddle. 1,500 to go. The Nits battle it out. Pretty dusty hand here for Benham, but he will make the call in position. Oh, interesting. Yeah, Jack right in the window, but a king and a queen behind it. So top two for JD, Benham on bottom pair in a straight draw. The players with a reason to continue. going to connect really hard with Venom's open and calling rain. So JD continues for a small five and hearts come in immediately. But with basically a pot size bet behind, JD going to check it over. A 
clean run out here for the top two. When, when Venom checks it back, he can still have some traps for sure. But uh, gotta feel pretty good if you're JD. And last time when presented with a spot to go for a little block, he went all in against Carlos. Let's see how he approaches this situation. <laughs> this time he will settle on the block size. 1K into 5,200, and Venom will quickly let it go. <laughs> Nice hand there for JD. Gonna be able to relinquish his knit button as well. Looks like we have Tom, Carlos, and Venom still with their knit buttons to get rid of. I've been tilted at Venom at King Queen too. I've been tilted. Good pull, good pull. And yeah, this is the stage of the game where the Nick game pressure really starts to build. Not only are you not receiving $100, but you got to dish out 100 bucks to everybody at the table, including the dealer tonight, which is a nice little wrinkle. So you got rid of your nip button? Sir? You got rid of your nip button? I got rid of my nip button. He's left. Game of observation here, you know, you got to pay attention, buddy. I thought we chugged. Yeah, he played, you want another hand. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. You were getting chummy with, uh, you know, Tom. Yeah. You know, you gotta watch the game. Yeah. Yeah. Suited one gapper is going to battle here, and wow, it's the middle of the deck they wanted to see. Players with a pair. I I had a Not a turn card that either player really wanted to see, I would guess, but HCR flopping top pair is going to go ahead and bet. And gets raised immediately. Well, there's the first time. Show us your way. Well, this is an odd line. Just remember that. Well, if you lose, say, yeah, you lost does the RV now. Phil check <laughs> back on the flop that is now going to bet? Wouldn't he bet? You get extra brownie points. Maybe flush draw on too. the flop. Yeah. At least one might consider doing that most of the time. Not always. You got but your action shirt on today. I think this is probably a question like going like through like HCR's like mind, but he is definitely showing through facial expressions that he is uncomfortable with this and he's going to let it go. <laughs> Bill shows him the six as well. <laughs> we are playing some poker here tonight. That's what's going on, Jordan. <laughs> well, Texas poker. First, you call your father-in-law. Father-in-law's. Grandmother-in-law's ring. Okay, okay. Just watching. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's cool, right? We'll be nice. We'll be nice. Fiance, everybody watching? Fiance, everybody watching? Fiance, and some of my family watching. Hey, hey. Hey, next fam, right there. Look, mom, I made it. I hope they curse out whoever beats you in a pot in those chat, you know? <laughs> oh, fuck that guy, how's he calling? <laughs> you're here, you're on, you're on it. I'm going to tell the officer of the Air Force, he's in chief, but I'm going to go see him next week. He says the games are good, I'm like, how good are good? I think you'll be back. That's your stuff. Andrew, I'll go to the new year. Oh, okay. I think Shreveport has like 
Deep like one three games or something. I didn't tell you. I've been there once. I played zero. I see hand developing right. here I as like Carlos six. tries to sneak in uh, for five hundred. Really Venom though. Is that when you got your diamond? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Looking at one point six k to go from the big straddle, and Tom is gonna stuff it in for four point five k. And uh, yeah, Venom here a quick call. Um, and Venom bolt with Nick button, so somebody gonna get rid of it here. First boards for the Nick game. Okay. <laughs> I hope you guys both have Ace King. I have Ace King. Ace King? Two run outs. Oh, Only the first board will qualify for the Nick game. Ace 10 <laughs> needs to hit a 10 a and a 10 only here. Neither has a You're way out of line? Yeah, yeah. That's your board then. Right, Ace King wins? He's says? Good. Ace King's good. He's oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> Ooh, there's a 10, though. He's going to flip over like six. But a king right oh, behind king on the it. turn. But it's oh, it's another out the river. 10. Oh, my gosh. I was yeah. talking to him. I don't know. What in the world? Lucky. Man, this is the second time the river has kind of... Taking some money from Venom here. Give me another chop pot. Yeah, it was like a $6,500 pot earlier, and who knows what would have happened on the river had it not been the Ace of Spades. Um, so yeah, he he was very likely going to win all of that. Then this time around, in fantastic shape to scoop a nearly 10k pot and has to chop that one as well. The silver lining is that. He is no longer part of the Nick game, so you know, add a add a hundred bucks to his stack. To make the stream highlights, you just run it once, and then you know, and there's blood always, and they love that. Yeah. All right, RV Phil here puts the fifty on Venom to take a little break from hundred dollar straddle. How many left? Heads up. Carlos would not fold any two cards at this point, trying to get rid of his knit button, so he'll limp in. HCR will complete, and RV Phil checks his off. That's why I know. It's so, so stressful. Any other guys in the Did you get rid of it early, like, for a second hand? Like, oh, Quickly checks through on the flop. I think if you're Carlos, you maybe just take a swing at this and see if you can get something done, but... Just Don't checking and folding, and HCR takes Kevin. it down. Yep. I got you, buddy. Now that I'm out, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They said we want to include the dealers, so. Army Field made a requirement. It's only fair. Agreed. The only person who disagrees. Oh. That guy. <laughs> Don't be that guy. Don't be that guy. <laughs> Tom raises it up with two black nines. Nick makes the call with suited connectors, flops bottom pair. Only one overcard here for Tom. So he'll check it. And allow Nick to bet 600 here. Check, check on the turn ace of hearts and a safe run out here for Tom. But Nick is going to quickly bet a thousand here on the end. It kind of feels a little bit gross if you're Tom. Like, is this just always a queen? But uh, this time it is not. A pair of sixes turned into bluff.
Having the nine of spades was kind of a bad card for Tom as well. He'd much rather Nick had nine, ten of spades, but he is going to make the call. Let's go, Tom. Wow, nice call there by Tom. And he will be able to get rid of his net button. It looks like it's left to Carlos and just Carlos, excuse me. So he will have to pay out the net tax, $100 a person, including the dealer. Yeah, I really like that call there. I think a lot of players will perhaps level themselves into folding because they have the nine of spades. But if, I mean, you know, the players at the table, of course, they're going to have a better feel for this. But even I sort of noticed that Nikki just flicked that we'll 1K out him. there on the end. And we'll never invite him I think you kind of have to think about it a little bit harder yeah, if like you're going to go for value with a queen. It's not over yet. And Maybe. are you even Maybe that comfortable doing it with a seven? I mean, I guess you can do a seven, but why would you ever bet the flop with a seven? I don't know. There's just a lot of question marks around that sizing that quickly. And yeah, so I, I really like the call there by Tom. Some players that are really sophisticated uh, will use sort of reverse timing tells, but you have to be super on top of of what you're doing in order to successfully execute it and have a player that's actually capable of, you know, paying attention and sort of trying to turn that information into actionable information. So it's really tough to do. A lot of times it's just sort of very straightforward. And uh, yeah, sort of texture changing cards come in and someone just snaps a pet out there. It's like, wait, you didn't even have to do this. I don't know about this. Perhaps a little bit of that going on. Can't travel freely. We still, we still blame you. You don't have to pay taxes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, Carlos will take this one down. Kirby. And we are at the halfway point. I'm sure we'll be getting a, uh, a dealer change in just a moment. Uh, like nice comment here in the chat. It says commentators make this more enjoyable. I hey, appreciate that. Your country has to have like a repository. Like those of y'all just now tuning in, we are about two hours into our six-hour stream now. Listen to the voices of uh, Derek, that's me, and my co-commentator Aaron. That's some 5, 10, 8, 5, 10, 25 action, 5K max buy-in with match stack. Ireland is still part of the EU, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. One overcard here to Phil's pocket pair. About 100. About one third pot. Slip bricks, two overs back for spades. Stick around to see a very nice card on the turn. And pretty much the worst run out that you could possibly get if you're Phil. And he'll check once again. Flick Rick. <laughs> it's two and a quarter, and I guess Phil's going to pay this off. He does. Love my poker. You have to go to acting school to be a pro these days. I don't think you have to, but um, I would say that the players that are the, you know, sort of at the upper echelons, they know how to give off the kind of body language and energy and vibe and everything that their specific opponent needs to see in order to get the correct response. And that is very much not something that your average person is really paying attention to in their game. And, um, and of course, not everybody is doing that either, but I would just say that, you know, some of the people that are really, really good at it, like Daniel Negreanu, right? Like, he can sit at a table, be in the middle of a hand where he's all in, and he's sitting there talking and laughing and joking with you. 
Because if he thinks that that's the correct way to engage with you at that moment, for you to either think that he's got it or that he's bluffing or whatever it is, right? Like, I mean, he's, he's just been doing that for such a long time that he's got that as part of his arsenal. <coughs> Pretty cool to watch. I'm going to go three ways to a flop here. 1,600 in the middle already. Top pair for slip trick. Queens here for JD. He's going to be on a straddle pot again for $50. Ben, I'm in some trouble here unless he finds an ace on this board. does not want to see a queen on this flop. Bet pre flop, so really pretty much only worried about King Jack and King 10 suited, given the fact that he holds two queens. A good run out here, all things considered. And after Benham checks the turn, yeah, gonna be really tough to sell a story here, so he checks it back. JD takes it down. That will be the first third of the stream here. Thank you to Kevin for dealing the first two hours. We'll have another dealer here for the second third. And for those of y'all just now hopping in, welcome to our live stream. We are live from Dallas, Texas, streaming some 510-25 action here. Already had several 10K plus pots tonight. A lot of fun so far, and hope you all enjoy the next four hours of our stream. All right, two for two guys. What do you think, McCrollison? Yeah. 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 Uh, for those of you all that are closer to the Houston area, or even in Spring, Texas, we do have our Fall Classic going on right now at our Texas Card House Spring location. Over 1.5 million in guarantees. Uh, looks like we're right in the middle of the series with a few uh, more events to go. Uh, one in particular is the 500K main event, October 17th through the 22nd. So if you like tournament poker, uh, you should definitely consider heading out to Spring, Texas for our Texas Card House Spring location Fall Classic. Main event for 500K guaranteed, $800 buy-in. Uh, looks like they have flights Tuesday through Saturday with day two on Sunday. <laughs> and of course, if you're just local to the Dallas area and not looking to travel too much, you can head over to our Texas Card House Dallas location every single Saturday for the $30,000 guaranteed big one. $365 buy-in, oh, and so. we do stream the final table every single Saturday night. Okay, okay, and at the end of the month, of course, we'll have our even bigger one, the 250K guaranteed 
a multi-day, multi-flight uh, end-of-month tournament. Back to the action here. Looks like we're going to have Jessica dealing our live stream tonight. The second, third. Oh, yes. Okay. Benham says maybe I have pocket jacks, and he does indeed. Jack's full. Carlos not only had a 10, but he backed over to the flush as well, but no good. Robert Haney in the chat says, I think Tony G is legendary with tell projecting and making people salty. Well, he's definitely legendary at that. <laughs> I think he makes himself yeah. salty sometimes too, right? <laughs> yeah, reason. he's a very polarizing figure, right? You you either really like Tony G or you kind of hate him. I think the same goes for Will Kasuf, right? Like these guys that are not, they're not like your mainstream poker player and they can definitely get on people's nerves. I mean, I'm all for kind of trying to push some edges, maybe make people uncomfortable a little bit. It's part of the game. I think it's fair play, but I definitely do think that the extent to which both of those guys have done it, you know, particularly in high profile spots, has been kind of high rolly and like, bro, Let him live. tone it down a little bit. But you know what? Fair play all the way up until you get uh, <laughs> kicked out of the tournament or told to shut up or whatever by the tournament director, right? Harvey's bill going to take this one down. Six and raise plus, for value. <laughs> yeah, value question mark? <laughs> kind of funny to think about the Nick game as like just its own entity, right? Like you use the you lose the Nick game one time and you're like, oh, I have to win it so many times to get unstuck, you know? Like it does really hurt to pay it out. Let's play at least one more. Last one. See how this one goes, Steven. You know, that's fine. That's fine. I said I wouldn't be that guy. I'm just not smart enough to play two games at once. You what? Yeah, this hand, this hand. Same deal, $100? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Including the dealer? For Including Phil? the dealer. All right, $900 penalty, boys. Good luck. Thank you. Good luck, us. I wish everybody good luck. I hope we chop it up. I don't want anybody to lose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. let's just like, yeah. I seem to be able to just lose hands for the rest of the stream, and then it'll be fair. Or the same person who wins every hand. No, no, no. That sounds, that sounds, unless I'm that person, that sounds very boring. $100 straddle is on, so RV Phil will come in. Quarter. Rick, seven, so he'll make the call. And unless we get someone waking up with a hand in the blind, then straddle. Oh, actually, this is not a big straddle. This is just just RV Phil opening to two and a quarter on a twenty-five dollar straddle. It looks like. What's 
Uh, Top set for Slick break. Rick. Gut shot for Carlos. Just two overcards for RV Phil. So checky checky up front. Slick Rick puts 350 up there. And Carlos, the only taker. He wants to see a six. But that is not a good card for him. Turning top pair to go with his gut shot. Also, one liner to a straight out there for Slick Rick. Not going to be the easiest for him to get paid, one would think. But Carlos is going to go ahead and lead out here. We've seen a fair bit of this so far. Five fifty, though, pretty good price. So. Rick going to go ahead and assemble the call, put it across the line, and see what develops on the river. 2,500 in the middle, stack pot ratio, bang on two. One of the bigger bricks in the deck. You go checky, checky, SETI is good. Anybody would like to hop in the mix and join us on the felt for the uh, Tuesday live stream game. You can find all the information for signing up there in the chat. Streamlabs has been posting various links to the different uh, sign up forms for our various uh, live streams, both in uh, Dallas and Austin, and also down in spring as well. You can also reach out directly to Mallory for the Dallas live stream in particular. Information on your screen right there. Email, phone number, and QR code. Let her know when you'd like to play. We'll do our best to get you in the mix. Two players to a flop. He's high. Top pair for Carlos. JD on the bottom pair. RV Phil, Brick City. Four and a quarter here. Not the worst price in the world, but out of position and against a player that is going to have some of these sorts of hands. Best to just let it go. JD does just that. Great recommendation to play the Nick game. Picked a good time. Nick game is like, it's like a cat, you know, like, you know, the people don't like cats, the cats always give attention to. Carlos here, yeah, I was going to say, he's still got his mitt button, but he doesn't even get to let it go. He did show his hand. He's attracted to those, you know, like, I don't like Nick game, so, okay, boom, pay up. Yeah, I think that is cool. If you end up with a twice, you should be. Yeah, yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you're the 25. Bill, so Bill, no, you're the 25. Oh, okay. So, yeah, I think, I think like, if you play, you get to the system of free somehow. Yeah. But overall. But Ace King's about to slam into each other here, Benham and HCR. Mm. HCR really hasn't done much three betting here this evening. I hate all the games. Uh, probably raise some three eyebrows. Do you feel actually yeah. thinking about trying to sneak into this one with four deuce as well? They might incentivize Benham here to put on the four bet, though, but. Actually, now that I think about it, HR hasn't raised at all, right? So. Yeah, I was going to, I mean, you're you're right in principle. Some extra dead money in there, you're like, oh, slam dunk four bet. Maybe I'd get a little tricky from time to time otherwise. And once again, another 9-9 nine, nine flop. These are just going around tonight. But, um, yeah, I think HCR's rebetting is 
the bigger piece of the puzzle on this one. Carlos is in the mix with the 4-3. He has somehow made the best of it here with the nines up. Was there a cop? No, I mean, like, you could choose how much it was going to be. We'll check all the way through. Tennis fades on the turn. Doesn't change anything directly, but Venom does pick up a spade flush from him. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. That breaks out, and the, the pair of threes for Carlos is the best hand. He's going to win a $1,700 pot. So you played 3 4, boys. <laughs> Venom definitely uh, wishing uh, <laughs> after all of that went down that he had put in the four bet. Yeah, basically, like, yeah. you agree on the number yeah. every time you're on the button. Yeah. You basically we look at the overall earnings. Nick down a cool 10k. Danny up 3.8. Carlos 2.8. Everybody else in between. Only RB, Phil, and JD joining Nick in Stucksville. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right now. But still a long ways to go. Ace is for Carlos here. You mad at me, Carlos? Probably the guy that has a five. So, go ahead and bet at this. Danny's even in there. He's like, yeah, right. Ace high is super good, but <laughs> Carlos living the dream here. And yeah, I like the decision to just call here, right? Like, raising can only scare your opponents off. And if you're best, you're best by a mile. This card, not going to be what Carlos wanted to see. However, a couple of quick checks make him feel decent. On that one day. Just so you know, Danny and I have our car buttons. Honestly, I wouldn't have hated just checking there. Like, yeah, you give 3-4. Like uh, a free shot at hitting a six, but you know the ace would be perfect for you. If one of those peeled off, you'd make a big full house, and you're really just not that scared of anything. And if you, know, you check, it gives one of these two guys that has to act before you an opportunity to bluff at it on the river. So uh, it does go for a bet here, 475, about half pot, but uh, yeah, he's not going to get called. Uh, uh, perhaps missing a little value, but it does turn over the birds as well. In my younger days, I used to spend many a days out on St. Patty's. Uh, we were like lower Greenville. I was living like the villages. We were like the Greenville Day Parade. And then get fucked up, and then once the streets open back up, then eventually make it out to the bar. Yeah. Seven four flop. Uh, 
Good shot for Tom, over pair for Danny. Two overs for HCR. And now you one hell of a space yeah, card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our, shirt, I mean, our shirt's behind the bar. They, the people but, don't make uh, it to the pilgrimage when you go to the OG1. Tom yeah. needs to make it to the it's turn before we even see that as a possibility, and it's a little bit of a put it in? tough sell. does have the two <laughs> over cards, though, so he is going to come along. <laughs> used to be JD's house, right? Yeah. yeah. That's cool. Is there a one-liner to it straight out here? Tom here from the straddle, yeah, definitely going to be more his board. I like this decision to go ahead and lead. Puts all of Danny's best hands in a really tricky spot, and of course all of his air that is better than Jack High is probably just going to have to fold, so... Fantastic spot to lead. Danny isn't going anywhere, makes the call, and I almost want to see a brick just to see how Tom deals with it. That is a brick. And there's just about 2K exactly in the middle here. Kind of have to ask yourself, if I actually had a six, what size would I go for to try to get paid? My buddy married a lot being girl. And he kinda went don't want to go too, too, too big, but you kind of, oh, after. never mind. You just go so huge. Right there, so they got married and they went 2,200 slight over bet here. While they were there, that he did like the classic, like, they did some like classic, like, Latvian, like, The tricky thing out, here like, is that he's now stuff, repping, just, like, it's like, like small places, like it's like me, her, six, like a nine, guy cabin in the middle of nowhere. And for sure, a six. <laughs> Like he's no her, longer like, repping a set, like, right? Like, if you have a set, uh, she loved it. He was like, something was like that, you're yeah, going like, to want to try to get called by two pair like, or like, like, over pair, so you generally kind of size it down. I mean, all of that goes out the window if you've got history or decide, like, I can get max value with the set here some of the time. But, yeah, this is a big, chunky bet. Danny here in the blender a little bit has to decide if he wants to hero this off. Storms, I saw this on the line, yeah. Like thunderstorms and stuff, yeah. Definitely a tough spot here for Danny. Uh, he's been playing pretty well all night. He's making all the right decisions, whether it was a bluff or value betting a hand. Next time I'm in Milan, I went to Milan one time for like one night. It's good calls as well. Can he make the good call again? And it looks like he will. Nice call there by Danny with the overpair on a pretty nasty board for tens. Yeah. A lot of two pair call. combos, a lot of straights. Yeah, I, I, I'm always fascinated by these spots because, you know, we don't get to hear the internal dialogue that they're having with themselves about, you know, what that side should I go for? Like, what is he trying to do to me here? Blah, blah, blah. But. Florence you know, I'll just give my take on that. It almost felt like Tom oversold it a little bit, right? It's like, if I actually have a six and my opponent has something that can pay it off, like, do I want to go super huge and give him a chance to fold? Now, if both players are super seasoned and whatever, it's like you can you can go really big to make it look fluffy so that you get paid the max, right? Like, imagine that he has a six and he overbets it and gets called by tens. Like, it's brilliant, of course. Um, so, I don't know. You just really have to think that one through. The flip side of it, of course, is if I only bet half pot or two thirds to make it look like I'm trying to get called, does that get the job done? Yeah. Maybe that's kind of where he ended up settling on the big over side. Easy to get to them all, you know, on I don't know. Ferry, so. uh, we have a place. Nice play, so no matter how you cut it, from Danny. And I and I like the heart from Tom as well. A well played man. Venom here squeezing from the small blind. 
we actually stayed like it, was, it took us about an hour to get oh, into town. We were at a uh, vineyard uh, that we stayed for like eight days. Uh, it was cool because right during the harvest, so they were uh, picking grapes and doing all this stuff. And, yeah, JD's like, I don't really want to invite Carlos into this hand. And I think Venom is wide enough that Pocket Jacks can profitably score that. But he doesn't win the raise for 1600. And Carlos, who is sort of lying in the weeds here, just calling the original bet now with a little bit of a decision. Because I don't drink a ton, but I mean, we would do wine tours during the day, you know, five full glasses. And then at night, we had these, the chefs that lived there. And wow, he's just. Out of there. Full four course meal with 20 balls. Of, there was a group of us eating 20 balls of wine on the table. And normally, I'd have been, you know, done. So I don't, I don't know how that works. What, what do you mean by they don't have sulfates in that? They, they don't put some of the same additives. It's Ooh. all kind of more organic in that part of Italy. And so it doesn't get. Oh. And I'm rips it in, and <laughs> he is in it. pretty much the worst spot he could possibly be in. I have a pair. Once or twice. 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 Four. How big is your pair? I'm uh, Jacks. I, I uh, <laughs> you, you win both. <laughs> I'm an ace You win both. <laughs> you, you get to see 10 cards. You have yeah, outs. Right. You have outs. I'm so <laughs> embarrassed. <laughs> you don't have to show. You don't show have to me. show. You don't have to show. You have five four, I swear to God, though. I'm going to hit you. Show one, you show. Oh, my and God. And Jack of Hearts it's, it's is drawing dead. I have no chance on this oh, one. Diamond. All right. That, that's good then. I lose this one. I think they said they're running it twice, though. So another and opportunity for the I mean, ten jack of hearts. No, no, no. Queen, 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 queen eight off. You don't show. You don't. Show. You don't show. Oh, jack of hearts. Twice. Twice. I wish I had an over. Just muck it. Just muck it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You got hearts. Right. Yeah. You got hearts. Let's go hearts. Ooh, that's oh. a good flop. Let's hope. Eight and a quarter. Oh my gosh. <laughs> The case, oh, Jack. Wow. <laughs> JD here. Would have beat the Ace King as well, although if Carlos does like a weird flat and then back jam over the raise re raise, I'm not sure if JD can call it off. Anyways. But would, that would have been spicy for sure. Well, of course, we don't see that. He would have um, scooped Carlos there Carlos. if they ran it twice, though. Sorry, what? He would have scooped Carlos if they ran it twice. Uh, right, you are. Yeah. Yeah, river to set on the bottom board, and then um, a flush on top. Joe. Joe. <coughs> Joe. Daddy. Joe Daddy. <laughs> no? Okay. Throw with it. My parents had a good sense of humor. Joseph right Daniel. <laughs> Can I just call you Daddy? Yeah, yeah pretty touchy spot Daddy. there <laughs> from Daddy with an eye. Venom. Like, Jack-10 suited, it does perform pretty well against uh, over pairs, you know, as well as any hand can be expected to. But it just doesn't have the best blocking qualities. So a, a little bit of a fringe candidate there for sure. But um, these guys came to play, so, you know. Get after it. See what happens. Maybe maybe JD's up to no good over there. I heard it before. And, uh, mm -hmm. Gets that one through, just not this time. Oh, just on you beat top two of Ton of dead money in there, and Tom, with a very nice hand, East Queen O in the big blind. <laughs> Big chunky raised to 900. Love it. Nine. I hear that word a lot when I'm in Germany. Usually from good looking girls. I'd make a joke if I knew 90 numbers in German. I'd be like, no, 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 no. I know. Wow, RB Phil is not going to let Tom get away with this, but instead is just calling with a very dominated hand. And now stack pot ratio to barely over one as well, so not a lot of ways for RB Phil to really feel good about this hand unless he connects well. He's not on his board. Tom has the ace of diamonds. You can just bet small and rip turn. 
or even YOLO it in right now. He's going to go for the bet small on a flop. I think it's the more standard way to do it. And wow, RV like Phil is going to go so for it. He sees that his opponent hardly has any chips, chips left behind. He's well, he's still going to raise him to 1.2k. You might just have to go you with it here if you're Tom. Steven all comes. I think that's if right. I mean, Phil back. You can't. I got to adopt. I got to adopt a euro. You're gonna adopt two overs gonna adopt and that flush draw. It. Hard to think that you're never drawing you're dead, dead, obviously. Yeah, it's virtually impossible yeah, that you're drawing dead. Only five, six of diamonds has you crushed, and you're live against everything else. And honestly, your pairs might be live, right? Like if he's just in there with eight, seven yeah. suited or something. And when he doesn't get snap called, he's like, oh my god. I probably have the best hand. <laughs> That's like the Ace most incredible good. feeling, right? Yeah, when when the when your rejam all ends only for like half of what they only have to call half of your stack or something. To yeah. And they start tanking. You're like, holy shit, let's go! I don't even care what happens now. Like I have the best hand somehow, and I was worried. They're like now we're Gucci. Now I got one through, huh? All right, Tom gets a 6K pot here. Maybe I'll That's, he here. basically doubled up on the hand with all the dead money that was in there and RV Phil raising him on the flop there. So he basically doubled up without having to see the turn river. Pretty fantastic. Base is high in this game? High or low. High or low, yeah, yeah. You get to choose. It's like blackjack. One or one. I guess I'll let One or 15. Uh, one or 13. One or 13. So let's put them in three. See if we'll call for these queen off. Um, ben, Ben, for sure. I think I'll flop you, I don't even know. Oh, you got some decent. I would have paid 200. So you have 200 hands. something happen. 7-3 clubs. Does pick up a gut shot. One of the worst hands he's ever going to have on this board. <coughs> Does go for the big size up. Full pot here in JV. But in a pretty tough spot with second pair. And he'll let it go. Nice hand. That was a good pair. <laughs> nice hand, nice. All right, Nick game is now down to HCR and RV Phil. Oh, no, sorry. Nick still has it as well. Didn't see it when I was Got my money back. Now we're even. Deal. <laughs> One deal, deal, deal. <laughs> Wow, 
Benham wakes up with number one. Very next hand. He just showed down a massive bluff, and this is the perfect timing for him. Right, you show down the seven high bluff, and then you get aces the next hand. Nobody believes you. They just, you gotta have dog shit, right? <coughs> Absolutely. HCR's got his knit button. He's in there. RB Phil, of course, also with his knit button. And oh my good lord, he's going to back raise. Huge as well, 2100. I mean, I think you just call here, right? In position against a pretty action player. I mean, you can't really do anything wrong at this point. He, if he had more chips, then, uh, then I think he could um, set himself up for failure by re-raising. I mean, obviously we can see that RV Phil should be given every opportunity to find a flop that he can just bet at or, you know, whatever. But... Um, I think given the, the amount of chips left behind the 4K, it makes a ton of sense. Like like sure. I mean, because especially like, RV Phil, he's been splashing around a lot tonight, right? But when he flats HCRs open and then back raises, it kind of feels like he might actually have Oh, and he doesn't make the call. <laughs> what? Oh, oh, oh. Jack seven off gonna need a I lot of improvement. A lot of help here. Wow, he called for a seven. It peels off. Are they going off. once? How many sevens do you need? Yes, so. Jack of hearts. <laughs> Is, does he have the jack of hearts? Do you have hearts? Heart. No. Oh, they're running it twice. <laughs> Does he have a heart? I think he's got the jack of hearts. And he flops a gutty. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What is this game? This is the most incredible game I've ever seen. I love it. Army Phil is an absolute savage. Hey, he, he won the knit button. Because <laughs> he won the first run out. You're right. And Benham has just gotten raked over the coals. He chopped two pots. He chopped two pots with RV Phil. Like every time. Now he's got aces against the guy with Jack 7 and he can't win the whole thing. What is going on with him? The way that second board started running out, too, I was like certain that Venom was getting roasted and toasted. No, they're probably like, oh, yeah, we got a mystery over here, probably. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I probably got like, Jack oh or something. Oh, my God. <laughs> what a game. <laughs> man, poor Benham, man. Like, he, he runs bad in the spots where he's, like, you know, trying to turn his hand into a bluff or whatever. He just runs into it, and then when he has it, <laughs> he just chops. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'll gamble with you. Yeah, this is one of those nights that you uh, feel like you should have walked out and by all rights, you know, most of the time should have walked out a huge winner. And instead, he's still stuck. Damn it! Woo! Woo! <laughs> Nick gets one through with the five high diamonds and HCR is going to have to pay this out. $100, everybody. I mean, he raised to such a large amount that he was kind of priced in, right? He's like, yeah, yeah, he had live cards against Ace King, Ace Queen. 
Yeah. One over card against nines and tens. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah at that point, yeah, he is priced in with the, with the one over. <laughs> they had like nines or tens. Yeah. I love how he started calling for a seven and it was the door card too. Like, oh I've had that happen before where I had aces I all in against uh, uh, a guy and he was calling for a deuce. And like, we hadn't tabled our hands, right? We're just all in and we're running it. And he calls for a deuce, and the door card is a deuce. And I'm like, oh, my God, he's got a set of deuces, and I'm toast with my aces over here. No, it turns out that he was just going super YOLO with seven deuce off. But, like, <laughs> you know, he called for it. It came, and I thought I was dead for sure. Your, yeah, your heart just stopped for a second there. Just get the beat. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm sure a little bit of that happened to Venom, too. He's like, really? Just a set of sevens? Like, although you would have thought that he would have snap call with sevens. Right, it's like, yeah, you're never holding sevens at this point. But pretty wild spot. Is your car already registered in Texas? Or? Yeah. Oh. You did it backwards, but. I don't know. You didn't get the driver's license. No, in the I just need to get a gun, and then I'll be a resident, right? Is that how it works? Mm -hmm. I'll hook you up tomorrow. I got you. Miss <laughs> Jackie, Danny, I got you. We're, we're, we're good. <laughs> Wow, aces are just going around the table here. I thought they gave you a gun when you registered your card. I thought I was expecting one, but no. Yeah. Still picks another deck seven. Tricky time to uh, raise it up. Doesn't even squeeze to a very large size either. This is almost just a pot sweetener sort of size. Of course, JD is going to see all that dead money out there and pop it once more. All right, let's see if RV Phil can get lucky against number one again. Perhaps feeling a little bit invincible, you know? He's like, shit, Jack 7 off can do it. But King 10 off. Wow. Very tough to win this one. Definitely a flop texture that JD can check back from time to time with aces. Tricky part, of course, is if. A seven or a two comes off. Makes it a lot harder to get value and perhaps could just give Phil best hand. He does continue for one third. Phil's gonna float. Really doesn't want to see a king or a ten here on the turn. Deuce of spades completes the full Badoogie. Harvey Phil wastes no time betting about 80% hot. You know, with Phil's luck, the uh, the five is going to come out on the on the river here and. Uh, <laughs> He's just going to like ship it in, and then Jay's going to be like, what? <laughs> Very possible. Uh, still a gross spot right now for Aces. Very coordinated board, and if anyone's going to have a five here, it's uh, RV Phil. Or even two pair, right? Like, yep. This was a raise to 75, and then... Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Most ridiculous thing ever. <laughs> he goes, man, I, I couldn't have written this up better myself, Aaron. I, I, I said the offsuit five was gonna come on the river. <laughs> and he's gonna go all in. Oh my god, this is so ridiculous. I can't what? believe it. I mean, this. you know, Jack Seven Off gets there. <laughs> Jack Seven 
stepping <laughs> off definitely does get there. What just happened? Man, is we're living in RV we're living in RV yeah, Phil's world right now. We definitely are. Oh. Hey, yeah, eight point nine thousand, so let's call it nine into six. I'm uh, almost seven, right? Like he's never winning. Yeah, it's calling 9,000 yeah. <laughs> to chop and try to get, like, 3,500 back. It's the, just the worst. Not Yeah, like, not even 3,500. So you're getting a pretty terrible odds. This is why it's such an amazing play from RV Phil. <laughs> oh, he, he might not. He might just say F it and just, you know. <laughs> yeah. I like you, Phil. I mean, you do pretty brutal, need to though. call it some frequency, yeah, yeah, right? Because you're just never gonna have a seven, right? This is a four bet pot. Like you just don't have a seven, so you have right. to call it some frequency. Aces is like the best hand. I could be slow rolling you, Phil. I could be slow rolling you. That would be horrible. Play <laughs> <laughs> hey, jack seven all in, bro. Come on. Uh, I don't know, Phil. All right, he makes the call. Oh and God. they chop it up. Yeah. Wow. Nice <laughs> Another spot where, like, someone should be winning a massive pot <laughs> off of their Jesus. opponent. <laughs> and it's a chop pot. Snap you on the river. And the pipe's like, what the fuck? Make this come. He's like, posture on the trail. I'm going to snap his ass on the river. <laughs> what a river card, man. Nice, man. What a night for RV Phil. <laughs> I mean, he's, he's definitely uh, playing some dusty hands and getting there. And, you know, that's what we like to see on the stream. Yeah, well, he's getting there in a way that's just not losing, right? It's annoying, it's, yeah. It's an annoying get there. It's like, oh, like you're not winning, but we're chopping. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's great for him considering how far behind he is in these spots, but he also is just not afraid to keep going for these spots either, right? Like, he's just like, no, this, this looks like my board, and sure enough, like, JD was unhappy about it. <laughs> I've had something kind of similar uh, happen in, in tournaments before where, like, I'm super short stacked and just have to keep, like, getting all my chips in because I just don't have that much of an option. And just, like, I'm always super dominated in some, like, ridiculous way. Somehow just keep surviving, like, chopping. Runs out of flush, runs out of straight. Exactly. I can tell you're getting too comfortable. That's why I was like, no, no, no I can be slow rolling. Think, think about me sitting over shit. here with 7 8. Just you fucking. Constant, think of me over here with 7 8. Just be like, oh, got a seven over here. It's Top pair for that. RV <laughs> Phil. <laughs> Best hand <laughs> moment. And then slow roll. I know. I wouldn't slow roll either. But I just wanted you to sweat for a second. I don't think you believe me, though. Sure, <laughs> Everybody calls there, even the eight four clubs from Carlos. So they're so rolling. I'm like, fucking. They'd hate me. He picks up. <laughs> they'd hate me. One of the best cards in the deck. I'd have to just look and be like, oh shit, I fucked up. Holy. Don't just get up and leave. Can never play with two of you. Double gutty for Nick, so he's gonna bet when check two. Carlos calls. Over to Phil, who still has the best hand. Might be had, uh, might be had one too many Voodoo Rangers over there. <laughs> <laughs> he has had the perfect number of Voodoo Rangers. This is an amazing, amazing game. I had diamonds break off. Yeah. We'll arrive on the river with the best hand. Unlikely to see Carlos bluff in this. Like with uh, against two opponents, and uh, I'm eating my words right now. So I think go for a really small sizing though. He 
Yeah. Perhaps just targeting a jack. But a jack chops with every other jack. With the ace on board and then the board pairing on the end. It's so the size. A lot of aces chop too, yeah. Yeah, it's it's just kind of I don't know. 875. It's not the smallest bet. I thought at first that it was 675, but 875 a little bit chunkier. But Phil, yeah, he can't fold. Phil. And he's going to win a $3,800 pot there. Chip back up a little bit. Not that he ever really chipped down after chopping all of those giant yeah. pots. But my I mean, he, lo he lost the big one. Um, no, he didn't. Yeah, he chopped that one. Uh, no, yeah. He just <laughs> he's kind of been floating. <laughs> I mean, yeah, he had a bigger. He did have a bigger stack, and I think he lost um, like one good sized pot against Benham. Uh, but the rest of them have been chops. I'm in. We'll see. Nick here opening onto the, the gun ten seven oh. Uh, sorry, UTG one. You get called in two spots. Again, this time with the A70. I got it. Me made sense, but I was like, oh, you've been a bunch of time. Let me just, like, and work in the bar. Let me just confirm. Hello. Sorry, sorry. Venom here wakes up with Big Slick in the small blind. Puts in the cold four bet. Back over to RV Phil. <laughs> He's in there. Yeah, you gotta act more like a hero. You're, you're playing too quick. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> playing quick, wearing Hawaiian shirts. Monotone flop here. Venom way out in front. With the ace king, king of clubs, holding. Gets there immediately. <laughs> Yeah, they're writing a little bit on the wall there this time for Phil. All right, let's look at the overall earnings. Nick stuck a little over 10K. RV Phil down 3K on the night. Venom down 2,200. Everybody else in the positive. Danny Marks being the biggest winner out of right now. And later I was like, oh, it's like a metaphor for like the Alec Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 
Yeah. And he's been cheer year cheering his last year. He came out. He was nominated for like Best Picture, I think. What movie? Banshees of Inner Sheer. How does your movie work out? It's on Apple TV Hijack. I heard it's really good. Yeah. I heard the first first season, or the first couple episodes of the season is really, really good. But one of them was guys, I don't know. I don't even know which one. I haven't seen it, but I've heard it's really good. How did your movie come to the... You saw it? I think it was the 80s, but I'm not sure. It took out pretty good. $30,000 to turn out great. Yeah. It's being shown at the uh, Horror Film Festival in Florida. That's from Steven. I'll get it back from him later. It's from where? The Horror Film Festival in uh, Florida. Is that short film? No, it's a, it's a real movie. Yeah, I was in the USA. Lob for full players. Danny picks up a quad draw a here blood. on the turn. <laughs> <laughs> Still just playing nines full. Can, like, watch it on, uh, and the night of the yeah, nines Prime, continues. I mean, it's okay. incredible. Night for the nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's on those two. It's on Amazon Prime. Yeah, yeah, that's funny. That's all you need. All things considered, still a pretty good looking board here for Nick. It's this really small bet on the end. It feels it super valuable. Yeah. Wow, he's going to raise board rather board. than just fall. That's even better. This, I don't like this really Perhaps feels game. like Danny is blocking with a hand like sixes or fives or something of that. Sort of hand class and that he can attack that. That's the like jack peels off. Somewhere and just like, they like go into a board and you're like laying in the background <laughs> naked. <laughs> <laughs> Danny on the sevens <laughs> is in exactly that you. kind of huh? you got you, mate. <laughs> I mean, those people are extras, right? Like, whenever they have, like, a movie... They're making like, all the right decisions so far. Over, like, you know, there's people just, like, laying there. Like, <laughs> imagine you show up to be extra. Like, oh, yeah, you're, you get to lay in the sheet over here. <laughs> you know, I feel like he is going to get shown a jack a fair bit of the time. But, yeah, it's kind of just kind of a spot where... Oh, oh Lee. Danny's just on fire tonight with all those decisions. Absolutely right. Another well, well-timed call from Danny. Well done. Put on a clinic. I was close. He said yeah, I, uh, he might be dead. I actually, you know, met up with Speaking Danny those, and uh, okay. a mutual friend of ours, well, you know, for okay, some okay. coffee and some place. tea. And we were chatting about, and you know, I mentioned Danny I hadn't seen him on stream or been playing too much, and he says he's been busy with his uh, yeah. other venture, and um, but he has been studying a lot, and I guess it's kind of, it honestly, it's kind of showing. Seems like he's really been in the lab. Certainly dialed in here tonight, that is for sure. Yeah, whether it's uh, sort of the dynamics of how these hands are played out, or you know, whether the study has really sunk in, but no matter how you slice it, Danny is on. Is it a vodka food punch? No, it's a beer. Oh, it's a beer. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Arby Phil with a real hand this time. Pocket tens. Gets hit with a three bet from Slick Rick on the button. Ford even gets back to him. Carlos is going to call. Now, see how RV approaches this. back on his opponent. And they know that he could be up to no good. Neither of these holdings are particularly inspiring. Robert says nines on the board have been wild tonight. Perhaps Slick Rick here thinking about those that same thing. He's like, nines are hot. I got a nine. They just pile it in there. Yeah, but he thinks better of it. Okay. There's like a gentleman that's on the website. I don't know what's it called. It's like a apartment complex. 
like I, I don't know how to describe that, like a hated community, I guess. It's not like it's that. It's a decent area. Yeah, yeah. It's literally just the cross from I like that. And there's like Carlos pained by his there. decision, but yeah, yeah. does settle on fold as well, and another nice little pot, you know, tidy profit for Bill. All right, one more reminder that the Fall Classic is in full swing down at Texas Card House in spring. Over $1.5 million in guarantees, million dollars in guarantees, with the final tournament culminating there at the end of uh, the week, uh, October 22nd. The Nona Oldham main event, 500K guarantee with an $800 buy-in. All the information there on your screen. You can also go to texascardhouse.com slash spring for more information. Joe Daddy. <laughs> Joe Daniel. You call it JD? Joe Daddy. You the old Joe Daniel. <laughs> the Ace is the Joe Daddy. Ace. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Phil raises it up. Slick Rick makes the oh, call. Someone just stole your kids. Yeah, that's a cool uh, flop. He's right here. <laughs> White male wearing camo. Middle pair Jack and is. best hand for Phil. <laughs> Drinking fruit punch. <laughs> <laughs> Checks it over to Rick, who does bet 175. So a quick check call. Now picks up a club flush draw. Go with the pair of sixes, and we go checky checky. Safe run out for Phil. 475. And he bets out. Interesting choice there, I guess. Targeting an eight. I don't really understand that one. I uh, can't can't quite wrap my head around it if it was a bluff or a value bet, but uh, drags the pot nonetheless and snaps out the hundred dollar straddle for the next hand. Yeah, I had to go grab a hot chocolate. It's freezing back here. Yeah. All right, we've got uh, a wide range of systems here. Five players going to see. Oh, I think I saw set. Yeah, three in the window for Nick. Use what? You well, you, you the Danny, but not a lot else out there. Is the middle and the bottom of the deck represented here, not really the ace and the king. Pretty decent price here, um, though it is a low, um, you know, I guess more middling flush draw. Uh, might have to be concerned of obviously the pair and nut flush draw that Shanky Nick could have here. Uh, but Danny will make the call in position. Wow, what an action turn card there. Yeah, I think Danny should have some idea about what he could be up against, though, because you don't oftentimes see a player who has just called a bet pre-flop 
check raise a board like this unless they do have like a two pair, like ace three. Wow, he snap jams for a huge amount. And just let's let's Danny off the hook there very easily. Huge over bet there. Huh. Nice hand, nice hand. Finally made a hand. Finally made a hand. Hey, I was like, I mean, that, that's how you know you're running good. Um, when you're like Danny or Phil, like you're just in these like terrible spots, and like your opponent either just lets you off the hook, or the deck kind of just bails you out there. <laughs> yeah, and that, or and the that uh, the five on the river to just totally. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> that was I mean, but in that particular case, like uh, Danny could have lost at least another two or three thousand, I think, by the river. Oh, absolutely. Um, <laughs> he just he just loses nine hundred there on the turn. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think if he just yeah. calls, and then Danny goes for another smallish bet, you know, one yeah, like third, third one sizing on, yeah. on the end, and then he just like 2.5 x's him on the river, right? Like he could he could lose thousands for sure. A nice hand there for Nick. I'm sure he's happy to take down a pot finally. Oh, absolutely. Some hand on it, and I just like you told me, like, yeah, I'm gonna give up. Oh, you bitched out. He was like, oh, yeah. I, I said, he kept talking. I was like, oh, you, you bitched out. Like, back up, you bitched out. He goes, I don't know what that means. And I was just like, I think you can figure out context what it means, but he, he goes, okay, fine, yeah, I bitched out. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't know what bitched out means. But he, he's like, I've never heard that, that phrase before. And I was like, sure. Yeah. Slow box, you know? Yeah. I was like, I don't, I don't, I don't care if you haven't heard that one before. And I, <laughs> you, you, you understand context, you know. Is this your roommate? No. You know Martin? Martin has a dream? Oh, yeah, I know Martin. Is he back? Or? Yeah, yeah. I'm, so, I'm so in the loop right yeah, that's now. What he, that's what his name was his first trip. Yeah, so the Euros He's back in, he's blonde either. now. Yeah. Oh, wow. Very, very, very blonde. blonde. Huh? Thought we wouldn't recognize him bleach the hair, you know. <laughs> he goes, I'm the only Slovak here, and we're like, okay, and then Pikachu walks up, I'm like, Pikachu, where are you from? He goes, Slovenia. That's like Slovakia. I'm like, alright, there you go. Another look there at the earnings, and yeah, Nick <laughs> moving up a little bit, still <laughs> stuck. Better part of 9K, but not down below 10K. Danny Mark still leading the way, biggest winner so far, up nearly $6,000. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Y
Probably not tonight. Peter. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Well, we just try to get yeah. Sometimes. Sometimes. Oh, yeah. When, they, when all the games just be over here, then obviously. Yeah. yeah. Because there'll be people that would really be filling yeah. 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 and stuff. That's the hard part about getting bigger games here. Is, like, there's no theater. Yeah. Yeah. They just capture, like, all the... RV fell yeah. way out in front of the B-Pip. 68%. Uh, Tom holding things down on the lower end. 18%. Still above the Lottie line, though. Huh? Why do you think it's just stuck in there, then? Yeah, yeah, that's that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, the place that there's three RV parks down there by my ranch, and they're getting like seven hundred and fifty dollars a night, three night minimum for the equipment. Yeah. 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 Just for like a I like can't believe it's an IDC type. Yeah. Uh, right. Braveheart like a thing where you're from or does that piss you guys off or you know, just, uh, just whatever. Yeah. It's a good film. It is a good film. They studied in school. <laughs> History. I just know sometimes like when a cultural movie is made in a different country and they do it all wrong, people get upset. But, uh, no, I mean you didn't do it wrong. I mean, I don't know anything, but I heard he's not, really? I heard he was not like a good person, but again, I have no idea. Like, that's just, like on the set of that film, or just... No, 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 no. well, also Mel Gibson, but uh, I, I meant like uh, the actual, whatever his name is, uh, the historical figure. Uh, William Wallace. William Wallace. But again, I have no idea. That's just what I remember. There was some, like, reading. There was a bit of a... It's so hard to know that it's like, 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 like some time frame and stuff. Yeah. So it's one of those movies like I watch it and like I like that. Betting a call here, pocket jacks first, pocket like, five. Like, HCR like, like, still out front on the ten of diamonds turn. Gladiator was like one of my favorites of all time. I mean, you watch Carlos here so is Braveheart. Leads so like, out on flop, still betting on the turn. And get value or perhaps hold out over cards. Ace high type holdings, but HCR here for this small size certainly uh, has reason to continue. We'll make the call. Well, we had a lot of good comedy. It's like old school. Biggest brick in the deck on the end. Deuce of hearts. That's what they're laughing right now. It's good comedy. Carlos still betting here. Will Ferrell's 1300. Will Ferrell's like peak. Because he's, you know, it just hit that good. Yeah. And I started just being like technology with like the Marvel stuff and like, you know, those were good too, but at the time anyway. Be some very surprised to see HCR fold here. Miss Spades. What do you think of Ahsoka? Uh, started, I, I do like it though, I think. Um, she was like from from Clone Wars and Rebels is like my favorite character. Right? Does her make the call. Turns over the jacks and Carlos, who I think was sort of hoping that this was an ace high hero call. Nice hand there for HCR. Last season of Clone Wars was epic. 
the last two episodes with Order 66 and stuff. And then, like Ahsoka and Rex taking on the whole battalion. A lot of slow played hands here. Ace Queen, Ace Queen, King Nine suited. Sigurd like gonna come along with the nine seven, and of course Tom and Danny gonna limp and check their option. Interested in this. A couple of gut shots to Broadway, some pairs and flush draws to go around. Wow, HCR and Phil pick up a spade flush draw here on the turn. HCR getting a really good price here. Yeah, he'll make the call. So still three players in. Nearly 2K in the middle going to a river. It's a safe run out here for RV Phil and the top pair on the flop. Spade would have been gross. I really did. Yeah. Checks it down on the end. And sure enough. back in the saddle. Keep that V pip up at 70%. And then with this small raise, just trying to isolate against RV Phil, but Nick sneaks in there with the suited ace nine and all three players with an ace in hand, I go to a flop. play. So thinking over his options here after flopping middle pair. Then I'm probes for half pot. And Nick lets it go.
still sticks around, and these two players have another opportunity to chop a pop, perhaps. Tired. A long day. Mm-hmm. Get the jitter around the country today, you know? I draw Wichita Falls. Ooh, okay. What's up, buddy? Man, I'm going to keep BJ, telling huh? his story, though. <laughs> <To> Wichita Falls? <laughs> yeah, man. 1,500 into 2,500. I'm pissed. I just found that my banker sold, they sold their plane, the bank that I use. We were going to take it down to my ranch next month. They fucking sold it. So I'm getting a new bank now? Well, I told them, they said, ever a net jet? Let's go. <laughs> Venom gets it through <laughs> with technically the best hand. You were running them dry, Sue. What's that? <laughs> you were burning them dry. That's right. I'd have been on it. Didn't oh. I bought one brand new last year. We were going to take it when we went to a golf and pour it. We ended up not taking it. Uh, bad beats. Never been on it. Bad beats. It doesn't sound like that good of a banking decision to buy one and sell it within a year. I don't know. Oh, really? Oh, really? What are you guys talking about? Never mind, never mind. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing that concerns you, buddy. Just us, you know. Tell me what you're talking about. Of course, I'm going to get them. This doesn't include me, to be honest. B E H N A M. Just dream it. Talking about PJs. <laughs> I love RV Phil, man. He he never saw two cards that he didn't want to play. He's my favorite player on the stream, for sure. It's like free. Is that you, Danny? Yeah. Slick Rick is in there with the uh, baby pair of threes, and JD will close the action with the suited seven deuce. Why not? Diamond out there, still RV Phil to act behind. JD in kind of a rough spot here with his bottom pair. But he is going to make the call. Uh, RV Phil's in there. A three would be super spicy. Yeah, three of hearts. <laughs> <laughs> Up and downer now for Phil. Two pair for JD, and we check through. To a 10 here on the end. But JD will finish with the best of it. Two pair. <sighs> Unlikely that there's a very strong holding out there. If somebody does have something good, it's probably a 10 and would bet itself, but JD doesn't want to run the risk of it just checking through. So he is going to put a bet of 600 out there. See if he can get looked up by one of his opponents, at least. Kind of tough to think about an unpaired hand that exists out there, though, in JD's range if you're Slick Rick. Although he did make the hero call with King High earlier, so perhaps he's going back to the cape. Uh, I think Got better. him. I was thinking about bluffing, and then, you know, you just get there, and then you're like, oh, okay. It is such a troll. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Has uh, five of them Yeah, there should be a penalty for false <laughs> gottoms. <laughs> JD. Yeah. Has Fire or Holiday or those guys been playing a lot? Um, Fire played a couple weeks ago, maybe three weeks ago. But you're not seeing them around the room? Like, the seven? Mm -hmm. You don't see them around the room? No, no, no. I think Holiday's taking a break. Game for 100? What? Only if you retroactively go back one hand, <laughs> <laughs> then I'm in. I'm in. Nobody's started it now. It's up to Stan. Whatever you want to do. Aces for RV Phil. What a spot for him. Oh, boy. <laughs> This is what you play for all night long. 
convincing everybody that you're playing pretty much any two Just cards. And Just for pride. You get it, you should get paid. Get a raise out of Tom, though. I'm happy to just play the eights on the button for the set price, and Carlos completes as well. So three players to this flop. I got you to fold nine ten. Hmm? I got you to fold nine ten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thoughts? A little pair for Carlos. Two overs. Uh, three. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. oh. That would bad for you that time. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, hmm, nothing really makes that much sense. But when you flipped over seven days. Then it made a lot of sense. Then it made a lot of sense. Oh, yeah, my goodness. The, the night of the nines continues. Bad, I mean, Carlos improves yeah, yeah, yeah. to trips on the turn and checks it yeah. once again. No, he does not. He's <laughs> leading out. 350 to go. <laughs> Playing high stakes over here, buddy. <laughs> Could be very bad for RV Phil. <laughs> and after Halloween, you gotta get like a fake like thing and like walk out. <laughs> so, like, yeah, this Tom's board. hand here isn't that bad either in this exact run out of cards. Exactly. Yeah, it looks like there could be all kinds of stuff just firing away. Because why not? Nobody took any initiative on the flop, so let's see what happens. But yeah, Carlos still with the best of it, puts 800 across the line, a little under half pot. Is this, is this actually in October or in like September? Like it's, actually, it's the last weekend of September. Okay. So we have a big Oktoberfest party in downtown. Oh, yeah, okay. And then uh, the next one is the, they have the square holidays. So they shut off the square. So anytime they shut down the square, it's just like it's different. Yeah. yeah, it's just like Mardi Gras down there. RV Phil just makes the call and gets shown the bad news. Nine on the turn had him smoked and a nice little $3,400 pot there for Carlos. That moves him into the positive. That's a few trips to Taco Bell right there, baby. Let's go. 150 in the green. What a comeback there for Carlos. I know he started off really hot, but um, obviously had to lose a few pots there to now just be even for 20K. Let's see, big winner on the night is still Danny, putting on a clinic tonight, buying it for his initial 5,000. You guys want to play 7 Deuce game or no? No, I don't. Yeah, let's go. No? 7 Deuce game for 100. I hate 7 Deuce game. No, I say no, Phil. I like your name more than 7 Deuce game for 100? No, I say no. I don't I don't want to action, no. Yeah, then I can't. Alright. Should we do that game again? For you, probably. RV Phil with a blackjack can. Make it 100 to go. Oh, Are you kidding? Those are raising their call. Yeah. And then, uh. Damn, nine. It was. No, it's great. You've done the same thing, girl. It's all on the for you. Plus the eight hundred dollar river. Yeah. Easy game. Easy game. Make sure that answer respect. Did you show seven? Huh? Did you show three? So Nick gets oh, another one. 
We move on to hand number 92. Arby Phil has gotten his feet tip up to 70%. Hand, yes. I'm like your max, you're in your max. Like, very respectable oh, number. Thank God. This <laughs> Phil just gonna call this time under the gun, and it looks like Nick gonna raise it just to 3x here. So HCR will make a call, as will Phil. Well, yeah, but everybody's still tip like that. That's what Phil tells me it does. As they wanted to. I mean, that's Austin money. Come on. When I went down there, also we didn't tip. I mean, we didn't have anything smaller than like. Uh, we did that in the house. We didn't do it. Bill continues with the ace high. Well behind the top pair of Nick. Another bet Sometimes gets the job Vegas, done. They'll, they'll do like a, a bomb pot or whatever to pay all the time plus to pay tips yeah. or whatever. I don't really know what tips better. Like I've seen where they tip either 500 for three hours of dealing. And then you could tell like throughout the night, like there was other, or throughout the three hours, there were other people tipping. Yeah. Um, I'm sure they do very well. I know that, uh, I'm assuming this is the best place to deal in the country. Texas? Yeah. In Texas, absolutely. <laughs> that, yeah. that was a look right there. <laughs> and they got all the best dealers except for her, you know. Absolutely. You're the best one. Oh, wow. I only make fun of my friends. Got, so no, I know, you doubled him up. I could never be mad at you. Or not this I only talk shit to people that I like. One of the biggest things is the hustler. Lodge, right? There's this big bet in Vegas. Deuce is popping a set here for Carlos. Uh, unfortunately, he's not going to get any action here. HCR does have a pair of eights. Eight on the turn. A lot of the same people are there. Spicy. It is not the turn card you want to see when you have bottom set. Um, but it did check around on the flop, so you should feel pretty good about your set here. He was like, he was like uh, sponsored by them or whatever. Ooh. Big Bet Live. Uh, yeah, I mean, the good thing is that if you get raised, you can always call. And reevaluate River. Uh, does come another eight. Deuce is full for, our, for excuse me, Carlos. And RV Phil just six high. Yeah, and if anything that he's done tonight would be any indicator, I would suspect that RV Phil was about to go bananas there with a big bet, but instead Carlos starts reaching for chips and kind of nips that one in the bud. Really bad area to run away because there's like yeah, there's a fine art to uh, the dog accidentally went into the water and knowing went when to away. check, even with your best hands. You know, you know, I think our natural tendency you know, you know, is usually pretty spot on, is to bet ourselves when we have we'll our best hands. What you say, Phil? Huh? You know, sort of, uh, you know, the, the age-old <laughs> thing of, like, you know, bet your own hand, man. You just always lying in the weeds, you know. Check but there are good times yeah, to uh, lie in, in the weeds and let someone blast off. It's not to be that time. I but uh, uh, onwards and upwards, JD can, can open it with the king queen, <laughs> gets called <laughs> several spots. <laughs> They're all over the place. Oh, yeah, 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 that'd be a good time. Check. Top trips here for JD and a half pot continue. That's called by RV Phil, well behind and not many ways to improve. 
could potentially chop the pot now with a 10 on the river. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. It would be in RV fill fashion there. Can he do it again? Not nah, this time. <laughs> He's now playing the board. And he's going to go full pot here. Repping a queen or I suppose a jack, but a jack is kind of a tough sell here. If you're trying to get called by a straight or an ace. Of course, JD does not have any of these problems as he just has the queen. The one kind of weird thing is that because it's a pot-sized bed, it's like, eh. He either has it or has nothing most of the time. But he is actually going to find the raise here. It's a, basically a min-click. I going to say that a lot of times... It's hard to get called by worse, and so you usually just call so that you don't reopen the pot should your opponent somehow actually have it, whatever it is. <laughs> I feel so, so, so. Go fall, go fall, go fall. It's an interesting question here in the chat from Daniel. Um, is there a correlation to VPIP and went to showdown percentages? Seems like the high VPIP with a low uh, went to showdown percentage would naturally be a losing situation. Um, well, I think they would be the opposite. So, you know, went to showdown, you typically want that number to be relatively low um, unless you're sort of getting hit by the deck and you keep ending up in situations where you want to show down your best hands because you're trying to get paid across all streets. Um, so usually you want your want to went to showdown to be relatively low. So having a high VPIP with a low went to showdown percentage is actually sort of, that's what the best players in the world are going to have. They're going to be playing uh, a pretty strong, aggressive uh, style play and not showing down their hands very often because they're <laughs> bluffing a lot. <laughs> I mean, what you'll see a lot of times in smaller stakes games is high V-pips and high went to showdown, right? Because people are playing relatively passively. They're limping and calling into pots, and their V-pips are high. And then when they do have a lot of just sort of middling strength hands or hands that don't have any showdown value, they're just sort of checking and, yeah, and checking. letting the hand yeah. kind of get to the river easily. At least that's my so two cents on it. Oh, that makes sense. Phil with the best hand here. Pull that out, 125. Carlos, six is going to make the call HCR. Don't see him coming along. That's one of the, that's a really good stop. Yeah, that's definitely just one. I don't want to win that. Check. 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 Uh, first week of November. Yeah, it's uh, five, 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 like keeping y'all mad going to bed. Uh, take care. Good night. Thanks for tuning in. And thank you to all 161 of you fine folks that are hanging out with us this evening. If you haven't already, please do consider subscribing to the channel for all of our future broadcasts. Nanny, my coach. What I do? You giving Phil advice during the tournament? He gives great advice. T tighten up and play his game? <laughs> tighten up and play my game. I get a bunch of chips to me. And I well, which is it? Tighten up or play his game? Yeah, that's what he loves. That, that, that is his game. <laughs> I mean, I, I get some chips to me. I'm going to go crazy. <laughs> crazy.
Oh, I'll give you a test. That's up here. Ten nine of hearts gonna flop a flush draw for Nick. RV Phil has the betting lead, but Nick will lead straight out. Three hundred. Quick call. Sorry, three and a quarter. Quick call from Phil. Getting a lot of feedback from something. I hear that as Ace well. Though, so. Something there in the room interfering it's with one of the strike. microphones on one of the players. I'm wondering if um, HCR went to the restroom <laughs> and we're just getting <laughs> all the feedback from from that. He forgot to mute his mic, possibly. <laughs> yeah. Hope we're not about to hear some, you know, uh, <laughs> content that we don't really want to hear. But. <laughs> Yeah, the best is when uh, somebody does that and you've got like uh, hand dryers. And you know, so you hear the <laughs> <laughs> you hear like the flush of a toilet and like running water. <laughs> like, yeah. I don't know. All the good stuff. <laughs> I got kind of funny like stories of that, right? During um, lockdown, and I'd, I'd kind of hang out with a lot of my friends on Discord and we'd play games or like watch, be like, stream a movie or something to watch together mm -hmm. and like you know people would walk around with their bluetooth headsets and like they forget to mute their mic or flip over with their mic and they'd go to the restroom and you just hear <laughs> hear it all yeah you just hear the um you know liquid against liquid <laughs> yeah i i only have a wired headset which actually now that you say that 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 reminds me that i've been meaning to get a new uh, headset. There you go. Yeah, yeah today's you, Prime yeah. Day, so it's a good day to do it. Today is Prime Day? Mm -hmm. Well, one of the Prime Days, right? I guess it goes for a couple days these days. But yeah, I ordered a couple of things earlier and uh, had forgotten that I meant to get a new headset. Like in van life, people. 16 times their earnings or revenue? Earnings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sign me up. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, good locations, you know. Some of them are pretty trashy. You will not look at high school, you know, good laundry facilities and humanity center. You know, the mat sides are good, you know, nice gravel, but concrete. Pickleball. And just get Carlos to protect your investment with his right. attorney skills. And then yeah, we'll, we'll get him on retainer. And if anybody shows up out of line, will Lewis lift their ass? <laughs> I'm more of a Harvey Specter, but thank you. 50 yeah. is on, Harvey <laughs> Phil, oh, with uh, uh, two suited cards from about 200 ago. Did you hear how Harvey laughed, Carlos, when you said that? Harvey's starting bad, but I think Mike. I have a mic, actually, at work. Do you? Speaks five languages, two law degrees. No one believes the voodoo ranger. Can you have a photograph of memory? Sir? Ben, I'm not going to raise here over RV's open. He's in there with the Queen Jack suited, and it comes ace high, rainbow. Why do you need two log of these? Two different countries. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Quite the turn there for Slick Rick to pick up the King High flush draw. RV Phil turning a pair, which is currently the best hand. Slick there, I think, was feeling like his King High had pretty good showdown. I guess you're good. But the pair you is good enough. Hey, as long as you're paying. Thank you, Eric. Is that five bucks back you lost earlier? She snagged you. No, you're good, you're good. You stole a small bind earlier, it's fine. You throw that just swipe on me. Harvey Phil did one of these where he like pump faked you and then made you steal a small bind. So we'll Carlos, your shuttle if you want it. Up to you. Seven deuce or Nick game. 
I know it's seven deuce, but we can do a Nick game. Do you want to do it now or do you want to wait until the dealer change? Steven, how are you feeling? I'm like, what the dealer change? Huh? Whatever. Dealer change? I know. Why is it all the dealer change? I don't think Steven wants to play the new game. Steven Tritchell is fun. He wants to play the new game. This money to build this RV park. That's up here between Slick and Rick. Steve has got access to unlimited money. Eight, Borrow unlimited money. I'm going to play one more time. So All right. play now. Let's do it now. Let's do it now. Let's do it now. Let's do it now. Not playing too many hands here as of late. Well, we'll start us up. Check it back. Keep in mind that winning is not going to get you back to keep up with it. <laughs> no, I understand. We already lost nine. I, we hate, least I hate the fucking that game. We at least have to finish it on the win, next dealer show. <laughs> Carlos Hans said I want to play it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to get my chips in this fucking pot. It'll be like a $60,000. I didn't notice. Let's go. Come on. I'm your Huckleberry. I know you Just are. Just go until you get pushed. You know? All right, Nick game. Nick. How much money do you 55? have there, Carlos? Sir? How much money do you have? Uh, we'll start now, but we'll... we'll What's your stack size? What's it? Can you ask? So where this is this is this the last time we're gonna play it? All right. You get to next game one more time. Can the, here. Is, can the next dealer be the one that's it, just in case? Is that cool? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Is so that way each dealer gets one? Okay. okay. What's the stack size? What, how much does JD have? I got like I got like 4K, buddy. What chill out? Chill, no, you don't. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm trying to add on to cover me. What the fuck? I need some fuck? You know when you're losing bad every time? <laughs> Did you hear RV Phil? Yeah, He's like, yeah, how much you got, JD? <laughs> oh my god, is he actually going to add on? 19, 19, 21. <laughs> 21, Phil. If you stack me, we're not friends no more. Jess, can you figure out how much JD has? I got 21. <laughs> 21, 75. That sounds about right. 21? Yeah. I need some chips. Oh. This game plays yeah. as a match to right. stack, so yeah, certainly the last two hours when you're right. <laughs> Should be off the rails here. Carlos already did this shit. Way ahead of you, buddy. Yeah, way ahead of you. Coming out there, JD. That's the well guy, bro. Fifty. I got you. Number fifty. Fifty. What? <laughs> RV Phil gets to close the action with the 5 4 0. Oh, he will. Three players will see a flop. If anybody wants to play on the Austin live stream Mondays or Thursdays, the link in the chat box for you guys to fill out. But HC are going to flop the joint here. 10 high, spade flush. And once again, just going to go ahead and lead out here for about. Third pot. Wrong color. Good night, well, Robert. Thank you for hopping thank in here, Robert. Ooh. Oh, yeah, good. <laughs> Beat you to it. Just gonna say well, thanks yeah, for tuning yeah, in. Yeah, See yeah, you yeah. next time. That's how we started. <laughs> that's how you do it. We said we're doing what? Fifty dollars a person this time? That's what we're doing. Five thousand. I mean, don't forget. I heard fifty-five dollars. I know, we're going to give it to the next one, the next dealer, so each, each gets one. Wait, it starts this hand, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> next hand, <laughs> next hand, yeah. <laughs> Uh, everyone's pretty deep now. Uh, Carlos added on, JD added on. Looks like Phil's going to add on to match JD. Yeah, certainly a lot of chips on this table. Could see a massive collision if we get the right combination of hands. Check dart, check dart, check dart to me. Oh, what are you thinking about that? You don't believe in your hands? 300. <laughs> Top pair for HCR, middle pair for Carlos. 
like one of those uh, peanut butter. A straight draw for RV no, Phil. The, uh, the bar. A little something for everybody. No, no, no not the candy. I'm oh, sorry. The, the Nature Valley, not Nature Valley. Uh, sorry, I'll go over The pressing pack? The pressing bar? Yeah. That chocolate and peanut butter? That one. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Can I just give you a... This to uh, pay for that and your tip then, or do you need cash? Okay. RV, Phil makes the call. And Carlos can close the action for 600, but with just second pair, yeah, it feels a little dusty, so he throws it in the bin. Thank you, and the rest is for you. Thank you. Queen bricks off here on the end, HCR. Top pair, the best hand. And 2,800 in the middle. Let's see if he wants to bet or just check it over, give RV Phil a chance to bluff. And I like this. <laughs> Did RV Phil just go north and mill the hand? <laughs> he, probably, he probably didn't even think about it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he had already covered HCR, so not the biggest there. of deals at this stage of the hand. But yeah, normally yeah. <laughs> you wait a little longer. Phil shuts it down with a check back, and Eric Kings will take it down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think uh, I think Phil could use another one of those uh, Voodoo Rangers. That's <laughs> on in the middle of the hand. Love it. Yeah, JD's gone too. He's actually at the bar right now. About to take a shot. He's like, oh my god, I might play a 40k pot with Phil here. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Dead money out there and raises it up to 375. Venom didn't open 6 4 suited under the gun to go folding 300 more. And Tom comes along as well. Nick game is in effect. Three players to a flop. Thank you. Top of the deck here. Not a pretty sight for anyone. With Diamond, though, on the turn, improves Tom to a plus draw. Oh, three coin? Three coin, his hat already. Three coin, do you? Hot pet here from Tom, Randy. I like yeah. it. Randy's game is house. Uh, I have, I, I haven't, I, Sunday nights don't usually work for me very well. So I'll get the job done. Huh? Plays on Sundays. Yeah. Hers is a fun game. Yeah, it's very yeah. casual, very casual. He's good people. Yeah, yeah he's a good person. Yeah. Yeah. George told me one time he had a game over there and like he left halfway through it. He said, Y'all keep playing, but I gotta run. He came, yeah. like, came up here to play or something. It was, just, it was no, really he, weird. He goes to dinner and stuff. He, yeah. like, you know, he just makes plans anyway, he doesn't. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I've heard that happen. So. <laughs> can't cage Randy, you know? Not even at his own place. Just so I can catch up to Carlos and uh, Jerome Davis over there. Three bet from JD over Nick's open. Carlos and Phil make the call. Nick closes the action of four players to a flop.
up top for JD. But Nick gonna go ahead and lead out with the second pair. Four and a quarter is the bet. Okay. Thins the field to two. JD happy to just call in position. King of Hearts rolls off and Nick here lining up a second barrel. Someone's just saying a bigger game than people are arguing over the rules. It just kind of feels like a spade draw <laughs> that just wants to kind of slowly build the pot, maintain the betting lead. See a river for uh, 750, maybe even get JD to fold. And the spade does come in. But Nick slows it down with a check, and yeah, easy check back for JD. Wow, big pot there. Yeah, not uh, too sure what Nick had in mind there as far as what he was trying to get to fold, but JD, of course, at top of range there with the flop top pair, not going any place. Yeah, the knit game being on, sometimes, you know, players that are maybe a little bit newer to the knit game will tend to overplay it at times. I, I'm not saying for sure that that's what happened there, but, you know, Nick maybe getting a little bit overly aggressive trying to win a hand and get rid of his button. Certainly may have factored in a little bit. And that's definitely something that I saw when it first started to gain popularity. You know, probably... People were going crazy, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like a year ago when it, people really were, like, doing it all the time. It was. It was like it was like a feeding frenzy or something, you know? People couldn't wait to get all their chips in the middle. And it was like, well, yeah, I mean, you don't want to pay out the penalty, but you know that's, like, 80 bucks at this 2-5 game or whatever. Like, you just shipped $1,000. you could lose 2000 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Both players connect on this board here. Open under for Carlos with the over. GD, of course, with top pair. $50 straddle on.
during COVID. Yeah, I mean, it's back down to like 12 now. I mean, it's just fall off a cliff. You know it. Small raise here from Carlos over the limp up front. Harvey Phil, another small raise. Where taking it up to 400. And Slick Rick doesn't even want to get in there. He's like, no, nah, if I put 400 out there, that's just some dead money that somebody's going to squeeze and take away. But looks like he could have made it in there, as everyone else is going to fold or call. So pocket six is not in the mix, but these three players are. We have three of the best today, OG dealers. How you just sucking up? Like, you know, you just bury <laughs> <laughs> yourself, bury yourself, trying to... Harvey Phil getting serious. He's got the sunglasses on. He's ready to, ready to tango. Like a fresh Voodoo Ranger over there as well. Okay, he's been studying some pickup artistry. Some nagging and stuff, yeah. Okay. Carlos check calls 175 on the flop with a bad gut shot. He peels off and he leads out, turns his nine high into a bluff. This is arguably the worst hand that he could ever have here, so makes some sense. But RV Phil going nowhere with the turn two pair and fills this, up uh, on the river. What? How was how uh, the post string conversation? How was dating when you were in the van? Oh. <laughs> Carlos seemingly shutting it down, and unless he's got plans for a big check raise here, and is likely headed for. Just me the dad. Maybe he's blackout. And there it is. <laughs> the shades have come on. <laughs> Phil's getting serious. That's right, folks. That, that might be the last hand of uh, the night for Jessica, at least. But we're going to bring in another dealer here and uh, swap off commentators. Thank you to Aaron, my co commentator, for commentating with me for the past four hours. The new action stream. Absolutely. has been uh, a pleasure. And very much hope that you all enjoy the remaining two hours. And uh, yeah, up, I Brittany? will see you all next week. 200. And uh, be tuning in here probably in a little bit after I get home to the end of the stream. So y'all take care. I'll see you next time. Good night, everybody. Thanks, Aaron. Good stuff. You do have Eric joining me here tonight. What's going on, Mr. Derek? Good, good. Um, I'm sure you might have watched a little bit of that towards the end. And uh, I'm sure you saw a pretty good game and a lot of action so far. Uh, obviously, the last two hours. Sometimes we see the biggest pots in the last two hours. So. Absolutely. I Phil always brings some action to the table. So good to see some familiar faces here. I see a couple that I don't recognize, but I'm sure I'll, we'll talk about those guys as we get going here. But Brittany in the box. She's always a favorite. Very solid dealer. Um, also, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, she actually used to work at um, you know, Windstar and Choctaw before these card rooms opened. So a lot of the players, uh, a lot of the regular players, just know her from. I remember her being from there too as well. So I can't, I can't win. I can't win. What? There's my ten. There's my ten. Anybody but Steven. I see trip tens already. Anybody but Steven. Somehow the street is going to take it here. No spades, no boat. Carlos. Slow roll in the flush, huh, buddy? You guys know the slow roll? <laughs> I don't see the flush, but it's, it's out there somewhere, evidently. <laughs> see where she pots the pot over there, Slick Rick. I guess I misread one of the cards, yeah. I guess. Must have. 
So we're still playing the net game. Did anybody tip just a hundred before she left? She got one. I don't know. She got the she got the middle one. We're playing the net game and the dealers are included, so whoever loses tips either a hundred bucks. She's like, I guess. The <laughs> dealer <laughs> no, I don't wanna play. <laughs> if the dealer loses, she owes us each a hundred, right? She's like, and that's Tuesday. If, if we me. play it again and you lose twice or us double. <laughs> Maximum punishment. Oh, yeah. well, you had a good time down there, I can tell. I didn't have a good time. My truck got broken into uh, the first day I was there. It was actually actually a rough weekend. Oh my god. But was, I did keep a positive place? attitude. I did find the best deal, like on a washer and dryer and a refrigerator at the Lowe's in Austin. The Blue River. Was this in the parking lot of the lodge? Yep. Wow. Same no. problem everywhere, huh? That room is super nice. Carlos with the best hand here. No one with a three or any real draw. I guess there's a gut shot for Mr. Nick. Have you played with Nick before or seen him around? I don't know that no, I recognize uh, him. I think Nick and Tom are um, out of towners. As okay. In, out of town or is like out of the country. Uh, I've heard them talking about Ireland quite often. I, I couldn't really hear any of their accents, so I think one of the two is Irish, one of them might be from another European country. I'm not sure. Tom's in seat one, I see. Okay. Yeah. He's the other one I didn't recognize. I've seen uh, Slick Rick quite a bit here recently in the two five streets. So yeah, he he actually final tabled the uh, the main event of the Poker Atlas tour. Oh awesome. Yeah. He did I think he got fourth or fifth for a decent score. I think if you final table that yeah, event, you were doing pretty well. That's so, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah, I think he. Thanks to Shells, because you got life skills, you know. Six hundred. Jesus. Venom getting a little frisky with a suited queen five. Yeah, that'd be good for the J. A check offsuit, not typically hand. I like to play out of position. Um, they're pretty deep, so yeah, let's see a flop here. Let's flop a pair, but so does Benham. Not any pair, top pair for HCR. Benham was second pair. Pretty good flop there if you're in HCR spot. I, I wouldn't do anything but just check. Uh, you know, leading out here kind of shuts down hands that you're beating. Go to the game, you can bring a trash can. And then if you are sure. behind, you're kind of setting yourself up for, <laughs> for disaster here. See if they let us in. Yeah. <laughs> I had a feeling Venom was going to pop him. Yeah, it's like now now what do you do if you're Ace Jack here, right? I mean, now here Venom's repping sets, two pair, and um, Ace King. Ace King. Ace Queens, yeah. And then um, obviously you're you're ahead of like all kind of flush draws, but you have the ace of hearts yourself. So you kind of put he kind of put himself in this position, honestly, by not uh, checking the flop here. So Carlos, hockey and baseball. Those are your two main sports. I hate baseball actually. Hockey is the only thing I, I care to watch in person. I don't like sports where one wow. team can spend a million, a hundred million dollars more than another team. Yeah, I agree. Very stupid. Plus, if you think about it. See if Benham's picking up on that body language. Stadiums are different sizes, so yeah. The, during the 80s and 90s, everyone at Yankee Stadium was hitting out of the park. This right field is 300 some odd feet. Yeah. I want, everything should be equal, everything should be equal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You league. don't like the... Uh, uh, I mean, what other sport has different size arenas where depending on where you play? Yeah. Yeah. Like for America, that's like that's the closest we come to having like history, you know? <laughs> like. Good chunky bed here. Baseball stadium was built. What is it like 2,500? Yeah. Way back, and like, oh, it's a weird size. I didn't know there were different sizes. This is exactly what you're talking about, playing the ace jack out of position. Standard size, like some of them are like. Cockeyed, 
Then one team can spend eight hundred million a year. The other team only spends yeah, two hundred million. Salary. Yeah. Yeah. Some of them are indoor until pretty often they hit the roof until they hit like label like if you hit this on the roof it's like a three run it's like a three bases you hit this on the roof single double like yeah, yeah. Yeah. there's all kinds of crazy rules like that baseball. Is that Minnesota that had that mattress that bubble top that collapsed. No, no, no. I know, no. I know what you're talking about. So you're saying that the baseball hits the roof, which... I think Tampa... Tampa has I don't a, believe you, Ben. You're bluffing. I wasn't bluffing, I had Oh, my God. I wasn't bluffing, I had a pair. Yeah, yeah. I, I, and I think that would play completely differently, right? If you just checked um, the flop. You know, he probably would have done the same, around the same sizing as he let out for. Uh, he was easy call, relatively safe turn, check call again, and then uh, at that point, he's probably just going to shut down the river unless you know, he feels like his queen isn't good enough for showdown. Right. Which is very possible still, but then you have an easier decision. You know, he didn't blow the pot uh, facing that action. But, you know, obviously easier said than done. The walls are taller and stuff, so like... Yeah, we have the privilege of seeing the guards, but I think his body language just really gave away the how uncomfortable he was, you know, in that situation. So we've all been there. Having an aggressive player behind you, you know, can kind of make you make you uneasy, even with a you know pretty strong hand like that ace jack flop in top pair. Yeah. Never really wanted to play a hand out of position against JD or Benham or even RV Phil, you know, like just. You can get more home runs and your stats might be off, you know, it's like things you need to know when you're looking at evaluating people's stats. Let's see, pair for Carlos and HCR. His face is going to give Nick a pair, almost everyone with a pair here except for JD. Runner runner trips for Nick. Um, I'm sure. Baseball's like one of those like sports that like statisticians love. Is it always gets a call. Different things. Gets rid of his knit button, he's excited. <laughs> <laughs> I only call it because we were all rooting for you. I appreciate it. Texas Rangers, yeah. You play in Arlington. If I lose, I'm only paying for it. The other PCH is probably 15, 20 minutes away from the stadium. It's like right in between Dallas and Florida, in the middle. Are they good? Yeah. They're in the playoffs right now. They just won the night. They're going to go through the last time. Lost the championship game, which is like second from the last, so like okay. World Series is like the final, final, final. Two world men left series. standing with their knit buttons. The Slick Rick and Danny. The they just made the quarterfinals tonight. See if that brings about any any action. They decide to battle it out. Yeah, they have like two separate uh, divisions. It's all like the same, like you know, they, they split into divisions and there's <laughs> make conferences seven, inside the division. Yeah. Right. <laughs> well, it's arbitrarily split up, like when you're, you're like, when you join, yeah, you're kind of like assigned to a conference, you know, they kind of bounce it out. Yeah. So, yeah, you have like conference rivals, you gotta score high enough in your conference to qualify for the playoffs, and they yeah. play a tournament down to the winner. Yeah. You play like best of three series every year. Every year. Wow. Every year. Right. <laughs> RV throwing some money out there with the four deuce. Complete error, but not afraid. Yeah, we got close. But we misplayed the foul ball. We would have just caught an easy foul ball. We would have won the whole time. That was up. The Nuts continue to be the Nuts yeah, here like for Nick, here, and he's, so he's really going to try to get mm -hmm. called by anything here. Straight, other boats, but queens, but fortunately not, no one else have, has anything. <laughs> They're probably like, oh, you just had queen 10? That's all you had there? 
What? It's like it's what? just Danny and Slick Rick left. And they are doing $100 a person, including the dealer. So <laughs> nice. That was the, that was the, uh, a rule by RV Phil. He's like, we're not playing it unless we include the dealer. And I was like, oh, of course. No complaints by the dealers. Now it's 100 a person. Off. And you're out of time. I'm gonna call the clock on all y'all. Clock. Let's play speed poker. I'm in. I'm in for fucking speed poker. Ten seconds. Go. Five seconds. I'm in. I'm in. We'll slow ten seconds. I mean, at least five, but. Ten seconds is very fast. Though. That's a problem. Alright, here we go. We're gonna battle this one out, looks like. Both Danny and Slick Rick still in. Let's go. Uh, Tom, with the best hand, it looks like. Top pair. Danny gonna continue uh, repping range here. Can have all the ace kings, the king queens. Uh, does have backdoor hearts as well. RB Phil with good fold there. I trust you, Tom. <laughs> he says, I trust you, Tom. Right. <laughs> he says, come on, save me some money. Take this pot away from Danny. Oh, wow. Action turn card there. Going to give Danny the nut flush draw, but on uh, this board... I mean, I don't think you can really get a king to fold, so I'd like a check back, I think, if I'm in Danny's spot. Uh, you know, not many hands that are going to be calling that flop that don't contain a king or even, like, a 5-6. So I'm thinking i like a check here if Danny can find it. Um, though he's a much better player than me. I'm not sure uh, how he would play here. Yeah, he hard, does agree. hard to put him on any draws, too, with that, that board on the flop there. Yeah, it's either flush... There's no flush draws, and the only real draw got there, so... <laughs> I do like the check, taking your free river card there. Unfortunately, it does not hit. And Tom going to go for some value here. Bit of 1,000. Hands, I can call them in the spot. Jacks, queens, tens even. I almost like Tom's hand better as a bluff catcher. Uh... I guess if you're going to bet here, you're not really going to get, you know, I think hands like queens or jacks to call all that often, um, but hands that might have missed their heart draw on the on the turn there have an opportunity to bluff. So I think I like Tom's hand better as a, as a, as a bluff catch. Gets, gets a fist bump from Slick Rick for saving him so far. Knit game continues. Got about an hour and a half left in our stream tonight. Of course, we're going until midnight tonight. Thank you all to everyone that's been tuning in for the past, uh, you know, four and a half hours. It's been a fun night so far. A lot of action, a lot of big pots, and some uh, some fun hands. <laughs> I hope you have the aces. I'm gonna crack them. All right, and if you're watching, help us out. Give us a like or subscribe to the channel. Uh, I'm looking right now. We only have 57 likes for this stream, and one of those is mine. So let's see if we can get can get those numbers up a little bit. Finish off these last two hours. Thank you all again for tuning in, though. Help us grow this channel. You have an easy time, one we time, all time, one time, one time. Check. Top pair, top kicker. It's going to be really tough for Slick Rick here to pull this one off. And uh, HRS is going to go ahead and lead out here into the field. And of course, swapping up here, hard to do in no limit holding. Slick Rick will make the call. Uh, that might have been Carl's as well, those backdoor clubs and his overcard. And he will make the call as well. Ooh, and there it is. Wow, top two pair for HCR and a top pair for Carlos. And I imagine Slickrick's probably just done with his hand at this point. 
Knowing even hands that were possibly bluffing on the flop got there some in the form of king, queen, and any ace high holding. And now a dangerous spot for Carlos, who floated with the ace high. Looks like you got a fan there, Derek R. Sanctuary, saying hello. Oh, how's it going, R. Sanctuary? Hope you're doing all right. Yeah, I mean, if you're going to float the flop and hit top pair, I don't think you can make the fold just yet, but it's going to be really tough for Carlos here once HDR goes for another value bet here. And I like a bet of, you can get a lot of ace. X holdings, you know, jack tens, ace tens. So I'm liking a maybe half pot bet here. Bet of like 1500 would be good. And he went pretty close to that. Bet a thousand and got snap called by Carlos. And then a very nice hand there for HCR, profiting 2,700. I did catch a little bit of the stream, Derek, before I came in, but not the probably the first couple hours. I was at a family dinner, so I didn't get to see who was really running good tonight. Um, we have a couple couple guys that are kind of our big winners so far. Yeah, Danny's doing quite well. I mean, he's not necessarily running well. He's just playing very, very well. I mean, he's getting in certain spots where he's kind of having, he's like betting thin for value, and then they're raising as a bluff, and then he you know, ends up calling them, or uh, they call hero calls certain spots. He's been playing very well. Nice. Uh, Carlos did run very hot early on, rivering a flush against JD. And getting a quick double up, but he, I think he's about even now, or maybe, no, actually, he's about maybe four or five thousand. And uh, Arby Phil, I think, is close to even. I mean, not, not too many people are really crushing tonight. I'll gotcha. Think. So, good night so far for the marksman, Danny Marks. Let's just agree to Nate. Neither of us want to pop for the rest of the night, and we won't have to pay out. Fuck these guys. That's funny. They're just gonna fold the rest of the night. Never win a pot, so they don't have to pay. I don't think you guys even. These guys are too competitive. There's no way that's happening. Keep doing what you're doing. Yeah, yeah. Keep it up. That's the favorite thing to do. Put them in. Put them all in. I'll put you right now. I like put them in. Let's go. Maybe at the end. One flip, one PLO flip. I'm on my limited funds. <laughs> <laughs> no RV business for me. Carlos had some chop opportunities, but he does not realize those here. HCR still sitting there with top pair. He might just. Yeah, I guess he's going to lead out. Hand there for HCR. Bring this shit over here to North Richmond Hills in my hometown. You get a steady to open up the Connecting with anything here, huh? Nothing much here. A couple of straight draws. Looks like a, finally somebody has a pair. <laughs> I 
RV Phil, a little disguised straight draw there. But I think right. someone had a clean nine, right? They yeah. did, yeah. <laughs> Carlos kind of makes a cry call with two pairs there, runner, runner. There's our winnings for the night. Oh, JD's actually up quite a bit too. Oh, and HCR, Danny. A little bit more. Tom up. Rick. A little bit. So it looks like Nick, RV Phil, Carlos, and Benham are losers tonight. But I could change. And literally, the, it could flip in, in the last hour here. Right, hour and a half. I guess HCR's had a couple nice ones here just in the last couple minutes. Brittany dealing to him. Tom gets no action there with the Cowboys, but take down a pot. You were gonna rip? Yeah. You're gonna rip. If he folds. If he folds. Nick Gaines. Wow, how do you wake up with Kings there? Finish these. I guess to this point. It's so because you don't know what's going on. You're the fifth. You're the fifth. Come on, Eric. Trust me. You want to try it right now? Let's try it. Let's try it. That's a good time to try it. I'm done. Let's get through you. I can feel the line. I'm trying. 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 Carlos just going to limp in. RV Phil wakes up with a suited King Queen. He's going to raise it up to 225. Two knit buttons are still sitting this one out. These guys are just checking this as no one's connecting. Carlos going to take down a little pot here with. Ace high, five hundred and forty dollar pot. Everybody can fuck off. <laughs> After a couple of losses with two pair, he, <laughs> he had some fun choice words for the opponents there. He's pretty happy to take down even a small one. I don't even care about losing. I just hate the stress of this situation right now. I just want to get it over with. No, 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 no. I'm sure he'll let you just now you feel concede. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know what it feels like. Give me a hundred dollars discount. I'll concede. I don't allow a concede. Somebody's got to win a hand. No chops allowed, no conceding allowed. No, 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 no. Hey, y'all, you got to get through this one? Who made you post that huh? Buddy, we paid for this. We all paid for this. This is the one we paid for. This moment right here. I like the clarity of our audio on the table uh, here lately. It's a lot, a lot more crystal clear. We get to hear a lot more of the, the players talking. That way you, help, you guys don't have to always hear Derek and I uh, yapping in here. We get to hear what the, the guys that are actually out there gambling are doing and some of the jokes they're telling and stuff. It's uh, often pretty funny conversations going on out there. Definitely a good spot for JD here. And he will code it, put in the three bet squeeze here. Nice. Carlos has none of it. <laughs> Snap call. And I just think we'll probably just let this go. But now he's coming along <laughs> as well, looks like. Shaking the head, but calling on the button. Everyone's losing their minds out here. I love it, man. I've lost like 
I know. Wait, yeah, trying to win it. <laughs> I'm just going to keep holding my UV. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think that's higher UV yeah. at this point. Yeah. Pick someone out of five, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, RV <laughs> Phil. Oh my yeah. gosh. I was, this might be the hand that RV Phil has been talking about all night. He's like, I'm going to stack you, JD. I guess the diamonds. Right now, yeah, the diamonds with it. My gosh. This could get nasty. Just saw those diamonds. I God, forgot. It was a gut shot too, right? So the gut shot to the nut straight and backdoor clubs. Phil with trips. JD with the nut flush draw. Oh my gosh. Yeah, hey, let's see what Phil does here. There's no way he doesn't raise. I mean, there's just so much out there. He might make it like three thousand. Right. He says, "How much is it?" And he hammers it. He's gonna make like three thousand. <laughs> I knew it. Heck yeah. He says, y'all want to draw? Come come at me. I mean, there's definitely some implied odds here. Uh, <laughs> sitting 20K deep. Uh, 2.3K. Getting good price. And, you know, you have a chance to win a massive, massive pot here if you hit. We'll just make the call and the car... Oh. Wow. And, oh my god. <laughs> this pot's getting massive. Like like what what are we hoping to see here? Like what? Twelve K pot, let's go. The King of Diamonds or something? Oh, oh bad card. Gosh. Top pair and the nut flush draw. Wow, and how does Arvinville check that turn? How does he check that turn? I don't know. Wait, what? What is happening? Okay. Wait, what? You check or do you raise? Medical house? Check it, you fold. Yeah. I bet anything. I, I'm only gonna shit. So. I see, I see, I see. Interesting. Wow, he could have gotten some money there. I mean, any ace. Any ace I flush draw. Turn. That's get there. There's ace I flush draws. The turn top pair. It just seemed like it went from an aggressive. Flop to just autopilot, and they just kind of let it go down. That was interesting. What? <laughs> Forty-year-old gamer, I'm, I'm feeling you there. Uh, that didn't make much sense at all. If he bets turn, I think yeah, perfect he can get card, the perfect card to bet an ace. Yeah. What? Uh, yeah. He was talking all night to stack JD, and that was his chance. We're with you guys. So I, we don't know what just happened. Because well, there was twelve thousand um, on the turn, and there's like thirteen thousand in the pot on the turn. I, right. Like if if he bets like if he bets like six or seven thousand, I don't think JD can fold. Right. Right. And then he's kind of literally committed on the river, and he's gonna probably have to pay him off. Let's fuck him up, Carlos. <laughs> Especially JD, the big Revenge. what four better preflop? Yeah. Got to put him on some some kind of ace, you know. <laughs> Weird stuff. Here we go, another hand. Two guys, same group, both had hole in one, same hole. Wow. Whoa. The odds of that are one in 67 million. Wow. Far Well, if a player like my skill, it'd be even worse. Yeah. And, like, <laughs> they were playing together. So one yeah, after the other. Yeah. Well, there was one guy in between. Right. There wow. Four guys. That's so sick. <laughs> Carlos is going to actually bet his hand, as he probably should. Top pair, good kicker. He gave a call by Weaver Queens, maybe he was intense. There's a good chance he'll get looked up here. He's only just got his first hole in one, like, maybe last year, or two years ago, or 20. No, oh, JD decides to let it go. Carlos. JD, 7,000, I bet you fold, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bill's trying to justify not betting by saying, you guys weren't calling anything. I think you still got to put something out there. You got to bet that turn. Bet the turn. You got to bet that yeah. turn. I mean. Yeah. I'm just mad I didn't win. I thought I was winning that game. Yeah, for sure. I had these kind of diamonds. 
JD couldn't even stack the hand because if, if, if Arbyfield just ships that turn, like I think he has to call, right? Because he's beating he's beating kings, he's beating weaker aces, he's beating just all the, just the three all flush draws. Hours. Yeah. yeah. Gosh. And RV Phil has that image, you know, to, yeah, yeah. Yeah. to get him paid off there. Wow. How much is that? Oh, there was a two hundred dollar straddle. <laughs> I was like, what the price is six hundred? Oh, looks like we're freezing here for a second. Up oh, there we go. Man, this this game's gone very very loose. <laughs> They're just calling. Just oh my god, there's already three. There's like three thousand in the middle already. And only one, you know, premium hand here. And he smashes the flop here. Yeah, I like the check here from JD. I mean, you you can rep range and all, but uh, you know, players are gonna be less likely to three bet hands they would typically would in massive straddle pots like this one, a uh, two hundred dollar straddle. So you can expect a lot of ace tens, ace jacks, ace queens, even ace king. And uh, wow, Phil just making the call with bottom pair. Right, he's got some something nefarious in his mind that he's thinking about later streets. Let's go. Park Queen was in the muck. <laughs> Queen nine was in the muck. It was. Yeah. Forgot who it was that held that hand, but they're kicking themselves. Oh, Benham had to Queen nine. Benham had to Queen nine, yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he's thinking, God, if RV Phil can call 1.3K with bottom pair, why can't I just get in there one time with second pair? Yeah. Second pair. I mean, yeah. ben, Benham's stack was like, no, oh, no, Benham's pretty deep too, right? No, no, Benham only had like 5K. So, right. yeah, it, he's he's literally committing himself if he, if he calls that flop. <laughs> or he's calling like a third of a stack. Third or fourth of a stack. Small bet there makes sense to float. You know, you hit a pair on the flop. You can't just always fold, but that was a good bet. Disciplined fold, unfortunately. <laughs> Would have hit a full house. It does suck when you make a discipline fold. And yeah. You just you know, run around your quads or something. Yeah. Loving where this game's going. I mean, we're we're playing huge. Minimum fifty dollars straddles lately. And down to two here. Similar hands, different suits, Broadway cars. See what we got here. Slick Rick still with the nip button. He's got a gut shot to Broadway. Backdoor hearts. Might decide to continue here. Decides not to. Let's it go. Danny Slick Rick mid button game continues. <laughs> Boys, I have a dentist appointment on Thursday. I mean, you guys have now we just have that. four people in the in the black here with HCR up 10.2k. Not bad for a little Tuesday night session. Be there for home day. I know. <laughs> I would like to participate, to be fair. One day. One day, Brittany will hook it up. 
She was waiting to hurt you guys. False sense of security. And I'm starting to believe you actually did full days this tool. He said, that's the one he joined, and now he's like, oh shit, maybe he did. <laughs> I finally got the aces, uh, this is too risky. Great. <laughs> Some fun hands here, and it's RV Phil with the worst hand that decides to pop it up to 400. Tommy has been paying attention. He knows Phil's been kind of out of line all night. I will see him coming with a four bet here, and there Absolutely. it is. Absolutely, 1,500. shorter, which is good. It's easier to show. There you go. It's a good strategy. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm doing it too, but slower than you. Bill says, well, it's an extra thousand dollars. Let's go. Not the worst flop for the queen 10, and... Not really the flop you want to see if you have Ace King. I mean, a lot of middling cards there that uh, connect with RV Phil's range. It's gonna be tough to fold out really anything right? and on this on this board texture. Nines, tens, even sevens are probably gonna call you. But obviously, you know, it is a four bet pot, so you can still have the aces and kings, and your opponent cannot, or it's much harder for them to have them. Phil's got no quit in him. He's going to keep going. I'm going to start tanking. <laughs> tournament, tournament special. This is your, this is your sweet spot. And this board is getting worse and worse for the Ace King. JD, you never play tournaments, do you? No. No? Not anymore. Did you before? Not really, but like the decade. I think RV Phil is going to bluff this river card a non zero percent. Oh, wow. Yeah. He does check. That's surprising. Made a bit. Yeah. Very easy check back there for Tom, and he's going to win a big pot here with just Ace-King high. And that's one of the ways you can win with Ace-King. <laughs> miss everything and have your opponent miss as well. Nice $5,700 pot there. And that's why you... You know, re-raise with Ace King against aggressive I'm opponents because Ace King High sometimes is good at showdown. You can get there. I mean, just think about when you play tournaments, right? When you go all in pre-flop with Ace King, the number of times you're just good against just other Ace Highs or right King Highs or Queen Highs even. Um, and it works. Kind of the same action happens in cash games. Time for lifetime. We gotta go. We gotta go longer. And if you get a call, most often you're flipping. Start with the week. Or your way ahead. Or your way ahead, yeah. <laughs> Just want to stress him out a little bit, like he's been doing to me. See some fun hands here. The Jack Nine Diamonds, Nine A, the clubs. The sneaky pocket threes. Spike a set, but we, we saw one three was already gone. Let's see if we can get an action flop here. Maybe one Danny normally just folds, but he's got the knit button. <laughs> that has like three or four pots. There's always three or four thousand in there right. already. Man, this is getting insane. Yeah, we saw a $500 pot earlier. Now everyone's like 3K. Does come ace high, uh, but RV Phil with bottom two pair in a what three bet pot? That's not bad considering. Um, you know, it's hard for your opponents to have any aces here, ace nine or ace eight. So uh, essentially flopping the nuts right. <laughs> in, on the on, in a three bet pot. And Nick is just in a miserable spot here. Top pair against a very aggressive opponent. Danny doesn't want to fold, but I think he kind of has to. Oh, he makes the call. Interesting. 
He's, he's got some cards he'd really like to see here on the turn. Speaking of Nick, there's uh, Nick Gutierrez in the chat. I was going to say hello to, and right on time, he's got a, he's got a comment for me. <laughs> it's a little personal, isn't it? <laughs> I'm, I'm, is he joking or? Oh, he's joking. Okay, <laughs> I was like, what? That'll probably Wait, be. Wait, what? That'll Nick probably be the top pair. Oh, did he really? Just got oh, rid of the yes. ace ten. Interesting. And there's a card for Danny. Wow! <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> Definitely something he wanted to see there. Oh, he's gonna check, Phil. What? You can't check. Man, he, he piles money in in certain spots, and he's checking when he's not supposed to i'd be just firing away here i mean yeah. you're pointing danny on maybe like a shack ace 10 and even ace queen even right so i mean what are you scared of you know oh, you're just giving him a free river card and uh oh this might give oh okay so interesting hard <laughs> RV fill. So you had that one for sure, huh? I for sure. I that one, yeah. <laughs> I've been there about six hands ago. <laughs> RV fill. Student surpasses the master. You know? What's this in your consistency? <laughs> <laughs> We're back here. Sorry about that. Um, did lose internet for a second there on our end. But we're back. Appreciate y'all for sticking by. I said, RV Phil's not here. Let's get some hands real quick. Why are you looking at me and say fuck? Let somebody else went ahead. I was like, let's get some hands when we go. <laughs> That's right, Nick. Operator <laughs> error. We had a little issue in here. He made it 150 here. Derek had to console me when we were talking about my rash. Yeah, I might, I might have clicked Alt F4 on accident there. Put your chips in, bro. Let's play. Can I have Let's play. Let's get a big part for the stream. Yeah, I need you. I'm in, I'm in. Nick did have a uh, Happy Meal delivered to me last time I was in a stream. <laughs> it was oh, the really? Most, most random crap ever. But uh, Oh, no, yeah, he, he used to do that for um, uh, Ben and I. Yeah. The day. He, we got, like, cookies and milkshakes. <laughs> got my first Pokemon cards ever. Didn't even know what those were. Maybe it'll be worth something someday. Merch too, huh? Oh, yeah. Merch every day. I went to that uh, the fort place. Oh, way out there? Uh, yeah. Yesterday. 
So we clearly missed who had the knit button. Danny no longer has a knit button. And it wasn't that hand, so. I'm sure we'll find out later who paid that out. You have to pay this man off. Oh, makes sense. True well, sure. Sounds like it was Slick Rick, seat nine. Derek, I don't know if you guys have done it yet tonight, but something you guys always used to do that I liked is asking everybody where they're watching from. We've got a little over 130 people still hanging in there with us at almost 11 o'clock on a Tuesday night. Uh, if you're still in the chat and listening, let us know where you're watching from. Um, if you're outside of the U.S. or if you're one of the other states, uh, we are here in Dallas, Texas at TCH Live. You can hear some chatter in the background. There's a lot of tables going on. We had a tournament tonight. Complimentary beer on tap here in Dallas. And lots of live poker. This room does not shut down. We are open 24-7, 365. This hand here behind you? Yeah. Big hand brewing here. Do we have to see the money? Do we need to make them? <laughs> Baton Rouge. Love it, Doug. Raises it up to 1.6K with his big slick here. And it's back to Carlos now with a couple of ladies. We'll see how Carlos likes to treat the ladies. Well, we could see all the money get in here. Uh, Danny starting on about, what, 7,200? No, excuse me. Wow, yeah, Carlos just calls there. Interesting. What? You know, got 2X the stack of Danny there. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh. Cooler flop here. Top pair, top kicker against middle set. I mean, this is just it for Danny, I think. And Danny can't put him on any set here because he didn't raise him. Yeah, the money's going in here. Frank coming in from, won't even try to pronounce, Worcester, Massachusetts. It's like Worcestershire. Worcestershire. Shire. 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 Yeah, it's, it's Shire. Worcestershire. <laughs> Worcestershire. Here it goes. Just 800. Let's see what Carlos does. He decides to pounce now. I like a call. Uh, with how stack sizes are right now. Uh, oh, he's going to pop him now. And it's going to be something a little fishy for Danny here. Just a call pre-flop from Carlos. I mean, I think at this point he knows he's probably behind. Uh, you can, it, as weird as it sounds, I mean, he can make an exploitab exploitative, ex exploitative fold here. Um, just with how the hand was played pre -flop. I mean, he raised the 1600 and then Carlos just calls after just calling the 100 initially. So he's oh. weighted towards queens, kings, tens, or queens and tens. So he doesn't have kings. Uh, queens and tens and king queen. So let's see what Danny decides to do here. Big spade draw. All the two pairs are there. I think I'm with you. I might have just called if I were Carlos, but he's got to know Danny's got a big hand too. Let's see what Danny decides to do here. I mean, he's a smart guy. Okay, he will make the call. Uh, I mean, if he's doing this, he, you know, he's giving him credit for some draws at least, and then maybe thinks uh, if he's hand against, up against a hand like King, Queen-10, he has more outs uh, than he actually has. Uh, that's not going to be one of them. I was hoping for a brick turn card just to see what happens here. Those check all in, and Danny calls it out right away. you got a set of queens. You guys are going to get the last left anyway. I'm going to have to probably call he called out his hand. It's a big reel coming in at DCX. 
So, okay, I guess Danny's alarm bells are similar to mine, then. You know, he he's played with Carlos for years now at this point. He knows um, him calling that a mount preflop is just weighted towards queens and tens. <laughs> Maybe king queen suited, but he has a king, so uh, king queen of clubs isn't a thing. King queen of spades isn't a thing. There's king queen of hearts, king queen of diamonds left. <laughs> And he's saying it again. He's literally putting them on queens. Money saved is money earned, right? I mean, I, I know the price is ridiculous right here, but is Carlos ever bluffing here? And he's got to put so. 3K in to win, you know, over 16K. Pot. Uh, well, minus... Uh, it'd be 3K to win, like, 15K. Yeah. Your account for. So pretty... Pretty close, actually, to the right price. He can hit his king, he, or he can hit his straight. Um, but. Anybody want a complimentary beer? No, thanks, buddy. See, I'd, I'd love to see a fold there, if he can find it. It's just... While he's tanking, what do you guys think in the chat? Is he going to call? Is he going to make, uh, make a really tight fold here, really good fold? Mm. I think he can find it. Sorry, I, I think he can find the fold, too, actually. He's such a sharp guy. He does call. Wow. Twice? Yeah. If wins, he's going to show. Oh, man. Well, you guys voted the way that. Derek and I were voting. We really thought he was going to fold there, but tough spot. Patience pays off. That's a tough one for Danny. Um, I think against maybe half the players on this table, uh, you're never folding that hand there. Uh, yep. It's just, it's mainly just that particular player, but I don't blame him for the call either. I mean, it's. You put so much of your stack already in and to just fold at that point. Um, yeah, occasionally he might be chopping, right? Yeah, that's that's might be something that ran through Danny's mind too. It's like, oh, well, there's more combos of Ace King left than um, than Ace right. than Queens, obviously, right? There's there's you know it looked like his spidey senses were kind of going off uh, when he was check raised on the on the flop anyway. But once he made that call on the flop, it just was too much money in there. I think he just decided he was just going <laughs> to roll with it. You know, and it was one of those hands, I think either way, I don't think he was going to feel good about it. Yeah. Right? That, that, those are the worst hands where you're like, you're like, oh my God, I think I'm beat, but I hold. I'm going to be, I'm going to be sick. My stomach, I put half my stack in. Uh, if I call, I know I'm probably beat. I'm just losing my whole stack. Yeah. <laughs> like, it, it, it's, it's, either way, it sucks for Danny, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> like, don't, don't get me wrong. Obviously, you, you, he would have saved 3K, but it's like, oh, but what, if I was, what if I was actually ahead, right? Then <laughs> I could have won a 15K pot. And these are stakes I don't play, so you know I don't make too many <laughs> crying calls for 3K. Mine are usually for a couple hundred bucks. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Or at most, like a thousand. Yeah, at yeah. most a thousand, yeah. Right. So, I think it's good you know, for that was Definitely a crying call. You could tell he was not comfortable with it. He just happened to choose wrong, but you know, his fighty senses were going off. He literally called out the hand. Um, he just couldn't get himself to, to lay it down. And... Oh my god. <laughs> Slick Rick has been waiting for this spot all night. <laughs> He's like, oh my god, I finally I finally got in the spot against RV Phil and it's a uh, $10,800 pot here. Rick, Slick Rick has been playing very solid all night. Does not want to hit a king. <laughs> Who's this one? This Phil? <laughs> <laughs> Little needle by JD there. He's like, Who's this one? <laughs> Is that a spade? No, it's a club. Shoot. Jack. Mm. They say Jack. <laughs> yeah. You didn't want a Jack. You Jack's not good, good though. Yeah, you didn't want a Jack. <laughs> Jack was no good. 
What time are we playing, Tom? Guess we're going to run it twice. But... 11 for me. <laughs> Phil must have just looked over at his stack, saw he was a short stack, just said, you know what, this is a hand worth jamming. And Slinker has got to feel pretty good right now. About to win a $10,000 pot. Could be one of the bigger pots he's ever played, honestly. Table's like strobing for you. Does that mean the all, is that the all-in flash? Nice hand, nice hand. Yeah, that was a very nice hand there for Slicker. It's been, you know, kind of been on a roller coaster all night. Finally gets a good spot against an action player. Who just jams into him when he's got big slick. And, you know, against RV Phil, you're never folding Ace King. It's amazing you called my hand, too. I know, I'm so bad. <laughs> They're still talking about it. That's so tough. He said, it's amazing you called my hand. Oh, man. I know you've done that in a situation, too, where you're like, you know what the guy has, and you still make the call. It's just too much money in the pot or, you know, some of those, you know, other variables that just make you want to call even though you just oh. know it's wrong. Um, that's part of he poker, bleeds. you know. Going with your gut. He bleeds. Nice little 5.5K so win for Slick Rick much. there. Yeah. You want it in play right now? And he's now up 3.8k. Look at so that. Changed his night right there, one hand. And we were literally just talking about that, right? Like, so you can flip yeah. flop <laughs> the players all night. I mean, Danny was a, was right here, right? Danny was like 7.8k up, up for a bit there. Carl, he sw he moved yeah. swap places with Carlos. Uh, yeah. And that is poker here in Texas. Uh, probably the biggest game in Dallas right now, running, unless there's some bigger games running over at Social, which is possible too. And he's in a pretty good spot here with Kings up against Mr. RV Phil. They are called Ace Magnets. Unfortunately, or fortunately for Danny, no Ace on the flop, and this is exactly the flop you want to see if you have Kings. Some kind of Broadway flop. Uh, Hands like King Queen, Ace Queen, even Ace Ten are gonna have to call you on this flop. Great turn card. And Phil hits a pair, and so he doesn't automatically, you know, put Danny being ahead here. See, if Danny just ships it here. No, he's gonna go for some value. Obviously, prepare to call any all in. Carlos stacks his chips so neatly. <laughs> I just noticed that. Still makes the call. Says I didn't come this far to fold. Clean run out. Clean run out for Danny. I mean, now you, now you love that river, man. Right? You, you, now you're ahead of Queen Ten. Go all in. Just lost a big pot against Carlos. May look a little tilted. Right. Could get heroed off here by a ten even. Let's see what Arbyfield decides to do. Two point four K into that pot there that was already seven thousand. And he set up a river jam, like that was such a good price, right? For any hand. I mean like a ten has a tough time folding. Jacks. Right. Obviously any queen will definitely pay him off, so Good comment there by 40-year-old gamer. You know, live tells aren't always a thing, but that definitely, uh, definitely was one to look at. And now everything about his body language says he's not real strong, but he still may uh, make the call here. I mean, if Danny gets called here, I mean, he's going to be back to the even. <laughs> Just like that. Oh, man. 
That is no limit holding. But I think either way, Danny's happy with his role here. I mean, he got two streets to value. Obviously wants a call now at this point. He was trying to process the game that he could possibly be. Ace King, definitely one of them. King Jack, one of them. Doesn't have the Ace of Diamonds, so... Not the worst hand to have here. Uh, I, I don't really like having the Ace because they removes some combos of Ace King. Oh, he does make the call, and look at that. Danny going to get the full double. Can I get the full double after full double. doubling Carlos up? Or after getting stacked by Carlos, I guess. Yeah, the only things he's really beaten there that, that made sense would be the you know the ace jacks, the king jacks, ace kings. Danny's not taking that line with eights and nines there, so but he'd come so far, there was enough money in the pot, I think he just said to hell with it. <laughs> nice hand there for Danny. Oh, yeah, Danny. Is that money in play? And he goes, no, and it looks like things he's like, fuck. <laughs> yeah, good hand for Danny. Gotta make him feel good after taking that loss earlier. <laughs> Just got a little accent out of Tom there. It definitely was uh, something in the UK region. <laughs> they might know each other, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe they travel together. I don't know. <laughs> We do have a good air conditioning system in the room. You, you can see he's no longer wearing that beach shirt. He's repping a TCH sweatshirt now. <laughs> you too can get your own TCH hoodie at any of our TCH locations. That's right. Got some good uh, they're, swag. They're, com they're quite comfortable. I'm wearing one right now, actually. You and I this are both is a wearing them. Limited edition though one. I don't think they even make this one anymore. Well, it's also the gray one. I kind of like that one. Yeah. You know, I prefer the hood, the hoodie that you're wearing versus the zip up one that I'm rocking right now. But these are almost more cozy. Yeah, right? When it doesn't have a zipper. I wasn't real happy when I put this on today, Derek. It's an XL and it's a little snug right now. <laughs> Waterburger's not doing me well. <laughs> That's all right. A little extra weight for the upcoming uh, cold for winter. The winter, for yes. the winter we're supposed to have. You're storing up fats That's right. for the winter. Yeah. I, I like a whale. Wear it. <laughs> <laughs> Just to support the guy. Eight high flop the here. Concept. Bill's yeah, going to yeah. lead out with his pair of fives. Danny's like got a gutter and, a, and an ace. Yeah, yeah, sure. You can do that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How would you wear it? Just, you know. Religious reasons? Or? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Right. Same reason, like, why, uh, okay. earlier this year when Dong was, like, mega tilted and going crazy. Dong? Oh. We were calling it Dong season. And I said I was going to get a, my uh, license plate to say Dong season. But then I talked to my wife about it, and she... Can you see JD driving down the road with dong season on the back of his dong car? Season. Yeah, that may send off the right, the wrong message. <laughs> make it, a, make it more waves than he's used to. You still owe me nine. Uh, we definitely love when uh, the dong man is on the stream, though. In a while, but yeah, I've, I've seen him around the social. Me too. Babylon. Yeah, whenever he wants to battle. Yeah. <laughs> Who can forget the suited ace deuce jam into in the into, aces. Into, into JD's aces? <laughs> so uh, gross, gross, gross. But that's poker. And you're so good. You know who you me, it reminds me of? Daniel Negroni. Calls the hands. Yeah. Somebody Still called him fucking messy last week. Not messy. Threw, threw up in my mouth a little bit. <laughs> I'm as good looking as Messi, and I play poker like Dan Nimagrano. I mean, clearly, you know. <laughs> <laughs> like 2018. And I play soccer. I can understand Messi if they follow it up with Sloppy, but not fucking like real. <laughs> Brittany's trying to keep a stoic face at some of these bad jokes at the table. 
Oh, come on. This is all here. It's, it's all here. But I remember earlier when you asked me how much I had and added on to the match. Exactly. I have no chance to hit you. I'm going for him. Nice hand there for Slick Rick. Scottish guys go over here strolling. They're like, they're matching up the stack, JD. Like, just said Scottish. Scottish. Do you have a uh, Scottish accent, Eric? <laughs> Whatever you did definitely wasn't a Scottish yeah, I know. accent. <laughs> He's Scottish. Yeah. <laughs> I remember the Starburst uh, Scotch Korean <laughs> commercial. It was like a father son. <laughs> And he said, Dad, we're, we're Korean. He said, no, we're Scott Korean. It was like the mashup of flavors. <laughs> He's talking about it's, it's a throwback commercial, but it's pretty funny if you've seen it. Hopefully somebody else out there is, is uh, seeing that commercial, and I'm not on my own here, but that's all right. I'll laugh at my own jokes. Been him waking up with the, the jacks, the jiggities, the hooks. Yeah, whatever my accent was, Michael, it was terrible, but thank you for helping me place it a little bit better. Your boss? Oh, wow. Yeah. Benham would have found a set of jacks. The case jack. How does that card even come out there? Where's the van at? Benham hasn't missed hitting a lot of turns. Yeah, the queen nine hand earlier, now he misses a set of jacks. It's like, what is happening here? Do I just need to call the flop every time? <laughs> Like, do you always have to put somebody on an ace, you know, in a raised pot pre? But he had a bet and a call in front of him, so he made the right laydown. Just and he's hating that river anyway. Uh, Slick Rick gets there with a straight, gets Broadway on the river. So that actually saved him a little bit of money, or maybe a lot of money. RV Phil can't feel good about just an ace nine here with all those Broadway cards out there. The guy that was betting the whole way. This is one uh, I think we'll see Phil lay down here. Unless he's just on what they call monkey tilt. <laughs> <laughs> just wants to. Yeah, you know, I think Phil can recognize that he just doesn't beat anything here. As much as he hates it, he probably thought he was good on the turn. Um, yeah, but good pull. So I, I didn't want to leave it over there where I can't keep an eye on it. <laughs> Benham's telling uh, Slick Rick so he had pocket jacks. So it had to be perfect, perfect there to hit it yeah. <laughs> straight because of the jack yeah. and the turn. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah, like, like, poker is wild like that sometimes. The only run out he could uh, really win with there. Except you have a good hand. Everybody goes on. Except you. That's all you know. Two steps. Only have a good hand. I'll do the rest. I'll help out. Sorry. Okay. I will do the rest. I say six minutes after my deadline. Hit and run. I got to go. Good game, Steven. Have a good night. I'll play my button. One more hand. Yeah. What time? What time are you going to do? It's just like 11, 30, 11, 40. They'll tell us. It's at 11, 45. What time is it? 11, 15, 30, minutes. Carlos going to bet with his ace high. Take down a little pot here.
You were gonna leave too. You were yawning and yeah, but I don't want to leave because I, I don't want to be there. Well, welcome back up. Yeah. yeah. No, I, I actually would leave if I was down. <laughs> I want Danny to get his money. Tell Shadow on. Well, you can't just leave without looking at him. Thanks for asking. That's kind of I'm not sure what that feels like. <laughs> If you win, win this hand, you got to play one more. <laughs> Them's the rules. He's not going to let me play. And then we have a flip. What do you mean he's not going to let you play? It's only 400. <laughs> okay. Actually, yeah, yeah. I need you to leave because you're killing me. <laughs> Venom's got pocket eights here. He's raising it up, 400. Like he's getting looked up across the board. If he wins this, he's gonna say one more. No, if he wins this, he's gonna fill with his king seven off. Is calling and smashes the flop. How about king seven jack for RV Phil? Checks it. See if he can get somebody else to fire. Shanky does have a gut shot. Uh, to Broadway here. No, sorry, he's open ended. Nine or an ace. We'll make a straight for Mr. Shanky. Good night, Steve. Good year up tonight. Back to Phil, 1.2K to call here. <laughs> he's going to go ahead and make his move now. Thank you, sir. <laughs> I'm actually. Uh, I'm getting a, uh, an award and voted the best lawyer in Texas. Oh, to nice. To help all Interesting bet yeah, here. Nice. Facing a 1.2K <laughs> raise or, or bet, he's going to raise it up to 6K. No flush draws on the board. It's a rainbow flop. Obviously, there's the, the obvious straight draw out there, but huge raise by RV Phil. years for his own insurance company to pay him his thirty thousand dollar policy and because they didn't do it when they were supposed to they you know in the lower stakes games this kind of bet usually just screams get out of my pot obviously these guys are playing so deep there there's definitely some bluffs that keep you doing this in with a with a board like this but I treat insurance companies like Danny treats <laughs> Shanky's the one with the open ender here. And he's now facing a, a big bet. Jack seven again? He just asked me if he had Jack seven. Pretty close. Sick. Shows the seven. Sick. Jack seven's been hot today. And nine hand, nine hand for Phil. Should we do it again, man? You don't like it. Well, Slick Rick and Tom now are our big winners. Danny's crept back up into the into the green there. JD still hovering right around 2K in the profit. <laughs> Shanky looking down at a couple of jacks, raises it up. JD next to him with suited 8 7, pops it up to 375. Gets back around to Nick Shanky, and he's going to make the call. Nice flop for JD, flopping the flush draw here. Um, Shanky definitely not liking this flop with pocket jacks. A couple overs and straight possibilities out there. JD's betting. He's just going to lay it down. And you see, kids, you don't have to have the best hand to, to win there. JD using uh, his aggression there to take that pot down with eight high. Mm -hmm. 
a lot of poker or mostly when you just on this day? Um, no, I, I play. I work with Coach Colinas. You play, you play like five times. Back to back pairs for for Shanky here. Yeah, so you were voted best in Texas? Uh, three small pairs. Let's see if anybody connects here. Is your wife on the panel? No set for anyone here. No, she both had a blocker vote. Had to get some else in. Missed them both by one there. <laughs> this is going to be the first one to put a chip out there. Is going to take this one down, but they're all checking. It may be the smallest pot we've seen since I came on it an hour and a half ago. Two hundred and forty dollar pot, by far. By far. Yeah. yeah. I mean, all those yeah, we're at minimum eight or nine hundred. Yeah. yeah. And then we've seen the twenty k plus. I think I quarter we're saying it's been this time and they took all the state farms vans in front of the corporate parking lot in the middle of the day at the sheriff's department. I've got a video of it. So roll up to like a massive like headquarters of a massive. sounds super geeky because it is. No, it's it not. Fun. I'm gonna call you when I'm in a pinch for sure. <laughs> I'll be the headquarters of the company with a quarter order and say, yep, oh, I'm just gonna that, take, that was take, a that was a retainer. They just gonna take it. whatever like they get to take like equivalent value of like, you know. Whatever they owe, a couple yeah. hundred thousand. So you're just like, all right, just start grabbing cars until <laughs> we, we get get there. It's hard to get six tow trucks at the same place at the same time. Oh, there's a will, there's a way. Calm down, this. I will, I mean a corporate card. Danny with the ladies again. Should say he's with the ladies this time instead of having the ace king against pocket queens. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that looked like the body language of an all in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or when like someone is playing PLO and they just point at the pot. They point at the yeah. They're like <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of flair. Yeah. Yeah. Rice Krispies in my lower back. <laughs> Damn it, RV. I hate RV to my left. <laughs> I just hate RV, period. <laughs> or at the table. On a train, on a plane. This guy. Oh, I've been playing all day. Poor guy. <laughs> Didn't do anything. That's four. RV Phil going to raise with the wheel ace here. Both guys connecting the board here. Interesting check on the turn. But wow. I guess either way, uh, probably doesn't expect Phil to even fold ace high at that point. But you know, turn two pair for RB Phil and Slick Rick flopping top pair. Um, tough spot. Such a weird hand. Yeah. Might just pay it off because it is Phil, and it went check, 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 check. I heard him say weird hand, and I, you know, I agree. Flop top pair and it just got kind of got weird on you. Now, I think he also said, I, he might have said, I have a big hand, I think. That's what he said. Or, I, I might have misheard, but. Two pair. Two pair, way good. A recognizable laugh in the background. That's one of the guys that used to play frequently on the stream, Mr. Galoo. Another really fun guy to play with. Been playing a lot of PLO recently. And I've seen him play the uh, Congress game quite a bit over here as well. 
You dabbled in the Congress much? No. I've yet to play Congress. I've played quite a bit of high-low uh, years back, but I was playing four-card high-low. I have not ventured into the, the Congress or Big O game and played the, the five-card variety. I don't know why. I think that fifth card might just screw me up, but looks like a lot of fun. I've never really enjoyed um, five-card games, to be honest. I mean, I mean, I mean I, okay, I take that back. I, I do enjoy it. It just is not for me. <laughs> so many split pots, yeah. you know. I, I yeah I, I think I'd get really frustrated with the pacing of that game. Absolutely, I can't imagine how many hands they're playing an hour compared <laughs> yeah. to what you play in a yeah in a normal hold'em game or a, for how a PLO slow PLO game. already is. It's right, like it's even slower. They gotta like chop the pot up. They gotta quarter people all the time. All the time. Yeah, yeah. yeah I think I'd get frustrated with the pacing because I, I like the pacing in PLO because it plays faster than no limit. So. <laughs> Another full full house for, for Phil here. Phil house. Phil House for Phil. <laughs> Let's see if he decides to bet this one. Unfortunately, he will not be getting paid. But you don't want to leave anything to chance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice chunk you put out there. A pot size bet. A like little more than. Pot size. Yeah. Oh, yeah, over. Just like uh, that is, I will say that is the one thing I missed about playing No Limit Hold'em is over betting. You know? So fun. When you, when you over bet and get called, that's the best feeling. Because <laughs> it just immediately makes people mad. If you have the best hand. Yeah. It's obviously, you know, it, when you over betting and you're bluffing and you get called, you're like, God, I could just check. <laughs> Let's see Ben, I'm calling him with a, with a clean eye here. Ben is the hardest person for me to read here. You don't know if he's like a... Oh. Shows the Phil House. Takes down a pot. I can't tell if Benham still has his cards or not. I know he's had the diamonds, but <laughs> yeah, I guess he's he's in the hand, but not in the hand. <laughs> but not in the hand. <laughs> I was gonna say if he wins another hand that he's not in, yeah, that would be frustrating for him. Phil's gonna try a little weird small bluff here. I don't think it's going to make much sense to Tom. He's going to just flick in a call here. Or raise. What type of dessert is it? He says, forget your 125 little like, rinky dink bet. It? But it, it's the shit. I also think he's raising for value there. Yeah. Believe it or not, <laughs> like he's, he's like, I'm feeling a little tight or a little uh, loose, and might call me down with a weaker queen there. Are you? What are you doing? What's that? What are you doing? Working out? Just eating better and working out a little bit. I have a prop bet with Paolo. Oh, you do? Yeah. He went with me to go see Mencia the other, other week. Was it together, or you guys both? He went with his date and went with his yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I thought you guys were each other's Yeah, we, we all said together. Yeah. We had six. Uh, <laughs> remember DW or what was his name? Yeah, DW. He went to his wife. And... Best shape of my life was when I was in the van, actually. Not best shape. Yeah, because you didn't have any food to eat. <laughs> well, I, so I showered at the gym, and so while I was there, I... Oh, yeah. 
so may as well actually work out. Yeah, as well, exactly. Well, yeah. And then as soon as I move into my apartment, I gain 30 pounds. <laughs> Home comforts. Yeah. The penthouse nice. apartment and a nice car. Door dash. Yeah. yeah. I'll take the apartment over the, the van, to be honest. Yeah, be in good shape to get him into the van. Yeah, I wouldn't be able to fit in it anymore. <laughs> oh, I love, I love that. Set of threes here. That's the secret. That's what you need to do, Danny. That's what you should do. Go back to the van. Yeah, I'm looking for some good food places. That's like one thing. Start to write a book or something. Yeah, I guess it comes from New York. Like, food's always so good. I'm trying to find some good, like... And, like, get on the best sellers list, you know? First I gotta learn how to write. Yeah. 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 I'll just use chat GPT. Yeah. Yeah. I already use chat GPT to code for me, so I might as well have it write other stuff. Yeah, I don't know, like, copyrights. It's a couple of callers. I saw a YouTube documentary that I could have swore was written by chat GPT. It just, like, had it written all over it. He's going to continue with bottom set here. Hoping that his opponent's have a jack or some sort of a draw that they'll continue to call. Carlos is going to go ahead and lay down his ace king. Harvey Phil's going to make the call though with pocket sevens. Oh, yeah, yeah, I don't know. jobs have become more obsolete. I got What's that? Because of AI. Yeah. 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 It's just, it's not good enough to, like, completely do it on its own yet, but... you got me out of there. But then, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you only need one person yeah. to supervise it. Yeah. Rather than... It's basically going to take the place of, like, junior coders and right. stuff like that. Yeah, basically, our me and my best friend like are the only two programmers, and we've both gotten 10x more productive since. Easy for Danny on the Guess you learn more as well. Probably. Got about 20 minutes left on this stream. There's still over 120 of you watching. Thanks for hanging in there with us. Hopefully, we can get some some more action hands before the the stream is up. Hope you guys have already enjoyed the chips that have been flying back and forth across the table. Seeing guys go from the big winners to big losers and vice versa. A couple of new players on the stream tonight. Some of our regulars. Glad to, get, glad to give you incentive. Just giving you an opportunity to get your money back. You don't have to do that. It's your money now. It's actually my money that I got back it's from you. It's your money. Yeah. Not belong to me anymore. A lot of fun hands here. Let's see if we can get an action flop. Got a spade draw, double gutter, open ender for RV Phil. And there's the gutter. <laughs> and there for Carlos. And Runner, runner, two pair for Tom. I see Slick Rick betting out here, which is kind of interesting here, into four people. Uh, I think in this spot, I'd probably consider my eights better as a bluff catcher. Maybe just see who decides the bet and then evaluate from there. But betting in the field here seems quite dangerous. Oh, no. Yeah, and getting raised... Uh, Carlos sitting there with the absolute nuts. Rainbow board. Straight to the seven. Yeah, he's doing some mathematics right now. And it's like, wait, okay. just Or he, he's not doing math, but he's like looking at the board just to make sure he actually does have the nuts. Uh, before, it does it to, before he eventually decides to put in the raise. And there it is. And this is just going to be the easiest fold for Phil, Rick, and uh, honestly Tom too. He has bottom two pair. And that's really all he can be repping unless, you know, some sort of slow-played set of fives. You're not slow-playing a bigger two-pair on that, you know, if you flop two-pair. Yeah, it's like ace, deuce of spades, seven, six of spades. Uh, good fold, good fold. Very disciplined fold. Two-pair just did not feel good there. I 
friend Danny taught me that. Make a the nuts. They're going to do 10 more minutes of the flip before I travel back there. How much? 10 more minutes for the swing. 10 more minutes of the flip? Yep. Two more hands flip. 10 minutes of flipping? Oh. And then we're gonna 17 hands of the flip. If Brittany can get 17 hands out in 10 minutes, God bless her. Again, this is a 5 10 25 game, but we've had the $50 straddle on for most of the night, haven't we, Derek? Mm -hmm. Nice flop here for Danny. Small pot. Is that 250, Derek? Mm -hmm. Takes it down. I saw Danny just a little bit ago was up like $340, which is that's a win. he's, he's that's a win. plenty happy with that after getting just crushed with that ace king hand against Carlos's queens there. Yeah, I'd like to see the win loss chart again for the end of the night. Carlos definitely, uh, like you mentioned, with the prettiest stack, very organized, <laughs> very symmetrical. Katie's got the double straddle on, or is that a Yeah, he's traveled 100 <laughs> to 100. He said, raise this hand if you hate money. He's going to defend, he says. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody connecting with anything. Venom's going to take advantage of his position there. Well done, Venom. Big old hunk, chunky bit at the end. Flip at the end. He's wanted to just keep playing. I, my meeting got canceled in the morning. Yeah, I'm on <laughs> We'll call Cashman. Maybe he's finally up. <laughs> <laughs> calling Chris Cashman. If you're in the, if you're in the chat, buddy, they're they're calling you. Sounds like they're going to be playing after the stream. Venom? Unlikely, but okay. it's like a few of them stayed. Play some three hands. Battle it out. I guess we could check the poker house, see if it's on the board, right? Well, yeah. Danny's going to defend here with the suited King Jack. Carlos just calling with Ace King. Allowing RV Phil to get in there with his 6 5 offsuit. Very interesting line by Carlos there. Wow, pretty pretty good action flop here, Derek. We got a open ender and Carlos, very uh, hidden hand, Ace King, just flatting. And Danny with King High Flush Draw. And Danny, oh. and Danny with the King High Flush Draw. Yeah, we're going to see some chips pile in for sure. Let's get some action going here. Ten minutes to go. This is what we want. Let's see some blood. You now Danny's like, wow. <laughs> Getting a sick price here. Six. Never folding. Uh, I don't like a raise either. Um, when you get bet in a call, very likely someone has some kind of ace. Yeah, it's a clean turn. And if I'm Carlos here, I'm going to go pretty large. Let's see. 
mean, he's sitting 20k deep against Danny, 20k deep against RV Phil. I'm going to go like 2200. 1300, giving him a price. Yeah, giving him a, a, a decent price with one card to come. You know, and if Phil calls here, Danny, I think, will for sure make the call. Would have liked to see at least the size of 2000 there. Yeah, now Danny here is like, oh my gosh. <laughs> Getting the right price. It's usually close to 20, 23% equity. Shade under. Three to one. Boom. Hit the straight. Straight hits for nice. RV Phil. Pretty hidden, too. I mean, no diamonds get there, no clubs. Literally, it's exactly 5 6. Uh, and I don't blame Carlos for going for some value here. And, you know, I, li I like the larger sizing on the turn just because how many draws were available. Um, right. You know, backdoor diamonds, front door clubs. Uh, and I, but I do like the sizing he's going for on the river. And wow, he's going for a big raise. Huge raise. Rainbow board, the hidden straight to the seven once again. Carlos is like, why did I play Ace King so slow? This is so rough. I mean, clubs break out, diamonds break out. It's a capable opponent, but I don't know how often you see Phil raising as a bluff. Ooh, he oh, calls. he makes the call. Frustrated, Carlos. And again, he's probably going to be kicking himself because there's an easy way to get Phil out of there. Pre-flop is you know, not just flatten the, the raise, but... Uh, 20K pot. Big pot headed Phil's way. You know, got to hang around pre-flop and then hit that open ender. What a swingy night there for Carlos. Yeah. Every Phil back in the black, actually, up 250 bucks. <laughs> Jeez Louise. I mean, no one's really, like... Where did all the money go? Yeah. Oh, HCR. Because HCR was up 10. Guess like, what? how yeah. is everyone only, how was the biggest winner only 5K? And like, there's. <laughs> yeah, HCR had, had left. Man, that, ma that makes you realize how, like, how much of a game dynamic dynamic it changes when, right. like, the win the big winner leaves the table. <laughs> it's like, that's where all the money goes. <laughs> and again, Carlos was pretty comfortable with tonight. And then this, this one hand here with just a few minutes to go in the stream. Um, you know, just bad, uh, bad river there. Didn't work out for him, and he, you know, paid a big price there to RV Phil. Another Queens sighting. And you know, and like how you were saying with him not raising pre-flop, right? And that's the importance of kind of being able to construct, you know, people's ranges uh, based on your pre-flop action. Like if you if you're, you know, not playing, I guess. How your hands should be played, you know, with air quotes. Um, right. It's hard to figure out what your opponents could have. Like, literally, when it's a single raise pot, they can literally have any possible draw, any straight draw, any two pair. Yep. Um, you really want to be kind of narrowing what your opponents could have with those kind of holdings, just to make it easier for you to play. And you hear so many people playing Ace King in general, just say, "Oh, I hate that hand. It's such a drawing hand." But you know, part of it is just getting those, you know, quote unquote trash hands out pre-flop. Yeah. You don't want to go multi-way with a with a hand like that. Because um, it's hard to figure out where you're at. Right. Yeah. And had he been heads up with just, say, Danny, you know, Danny misses the flush draw. He wins a pretty good-sized pot, you know, if it was just he and Danny. Had he, you know, put in a decent-sized raise pre, Danny's probably the only one that calls him there. But it's not how the cookie crumbled there. And lesson learned. I, I, I'm probably like you. I learn a, a new poker lesson every night that I play. Or... I get reminded of something that I learned 20 years ago that I still screw up. So it's a part of the game is learning. Uh, but it looks like this we're gonna that will be the last hand for Nick nice. and the last hand of the stream. They will be doing a flip. 
Uh, to end off the Knights. For 300. Should be a good flip here. Yeah, nice. Maybe get somebody back in the green or help somebody minimize their loss here by getting just an easy win on a flip. Maybe uh, Carlos will get this one. It'll give him something good to feel, something to feel good about before he leaves uh, to go home. Yeah, that's a pretty brutal one to end the night. I mean, Phil, Phil just had a fun night. I mean, he's like, you know, I kind of blasted here and there, and oh, yeah. I'm even. <laughs> <It's> like... <laughs> just throwing chips around, bluffing oh, big, gosh. getting chops. Making... Did, you hear, did you hear what Aaron was saying? Yeah, it was just like he was just rivering chops. Rivering chops. He had aces. Uh, yeah, JD had aces. Um, RV fell at king ten, on a on the turn it was like six four three deuce, and I was like, oh, five would give him a chop, I guess. Jeez. Five off suit five on the river. Um, it looks like Carlos actually will win, um, partly chopping, chopping with RV Phil because because that's what RV Phil does. <laughs> he chops hands. Oh man! But everyone have a great night tonight. I really appreciate everyone for tuning in. Uh, if you had to hit that like button, you enjoyed our content. Please hit the like button. Okay, Carlos let's says, "Let's see what our high card is." <laughs> Not what they're gonna. Yeah, okay, gotta show it. And uh, Carlos is happy with a chop. Oh no, no, they got oh. in a high card. No way. That's tough. Carlos, come on, buddy. Son of a gun. Like RV Phil's gonna take it, no chop. Wow, gamble, gamble. All right, y'all have a fun, great night. Fun stream. Thanks uh, for having me on, Derek. Yeah, absolutely. Until next time, uh, we'll be returning. Uh, actually, I'll be out of town this weekend, so I won't be commentating the final table. Um, I think David's either getting you or RJ or Z uh, someone uh, to fill in for me uh, with Mitch. I'm gonna be out of town quite often the next few months, um, but I should be here for the cash games. Uh, everyone have a great night and answer I guess the final question here in the chat from Anthony is this Dallas yes sir uh, if there's no more questions have a great night <laughs>